Hello, hello, is anyone here? Hold on, hold on, let me uh, fix something real quick. It'll take me just a second. Oh, this is a... Uh, advanced settings, hold on. Audio shares here. Nice, I got two people in the chat. Hold up. Uh, just tell me how my audio is and stuff. I mean, can you hear me? Oh yeah, you, I have to apologize right now. I know you guys can um, can hear the fan on my PlayStation 4. <laughs> I, I apologize deeply for that, but there's nothing I can do to fix it. I'm sitting like 10 feet away from my PlayStation right now. It is full on jet engine. And the worst thing about it is I just cleaned it like, when did I just, I cleaned it like two months ago. And, and it still sounds like that. There's nothing I can do. I really hope the PlayStation 5 sounds better than that. But anyways, um, yeah, you guys can hear me fine. Uh, I'm sorry about the PlayStation 4 fan, but this is the Arkham Knight uh, chill stream, I guess, five-year anniversary. I don't know how long I'll stream. Maybe, uh, maybe just like 30 minutes, maybe an hour. I really don't know. But uh, uh, what do you guys want to see me do? Obviously, I have, uh, I can do this this save file I have like half the riddler trophy solved so if you want you can either watch me solve some riddler trophies you can watch me start a new game you can watch me play DLC what DLC you want me to play play challenge maps uh, you guys tell me right now uh, how do I have 240% um, I bought the uh, I bought the season pass and everything and that gives you a lot of extra DLC content and I solved all that which if you solve all the Riddler trophies and 100% of the game, then you get 100%, and then you get an extra 20% for doing all the DLC. And then if you play New Game Plus, you do it all over again, you get 240%. And I did that on all three difficulties. I do I did this with every game, every Arkham game. You guys want me to do challenge maps? Let's have a vote here. Have seven people watching. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, yeah. Challenge maps? Any, any specific challenge maps? Um... Tell me if you want me to put the chat up like on the PlayStation screen because right now I'm looking at it on my uh, my laptop right next to me Also, you know, tell me what you guys want me to do. I can put the chat up on the screen right here so you guys can see or you guys can uh, Let's see challenge maps challenge maps. All right, you guys want me to do some challenge maps uh, I think I like I think I have on my easy profile. I don't know why I always I have so many on it. So with the challenge, it's kind of pathetic. I've done like three stars every character, <laughs> everything for all the all the self, the combat not so much. The combat I've done, I've done a few. What played two hundred on easy? Why I played two hundred forty percent on all difficulties. Um, actually, I think I originally might have played like half of uh, this game file like on medium or hard, but then I changed it back to easy just because I'm kind of OCD and I like having the. Uh, the three difficulties. Hold up. I like having the three difficulties: easy, medium, and hard. Uh, uh, the first three that show up in my save, save files, and the fourth one I think also at 240%. But obviously, I had to delete it to play the game again. I hope with the next Arkham game, Gotham Knights, whatever, that we get to be able to play New Game Plus multiple times or something. Because it's really annoying when I have to delete my fourth 240%. Never want to play the game again. And this isn't even my most played Arkham game. I've played Arkham City. Jesus Christ. Arkham City. I'm not even joking. Straight up. This is not like a flex. This is straight up shameful. That's been my favorite game since I was nine years old. I have sunk thousands upon thousands of hours in that game. And I've played it almost 100 times. Like no hyperbole. Arkham City. Oh my god. I am a god at that game. <laughs> Yeah, uh, okay, so shout out to the chat. We got we got Sucky Sucky, AT Jazzman, Tim Shriek, uh Daddy Cody, <laughs> CCR Productions, and uh, TNEGLCD. Alright, any challenge maps you guys want me to play specifically? Or just... I'll just play some challenge maps, I guess. If you guys want me to do the story, just tell me. Or solve riddler trophies. Uh, any DLC, tell me. Then I will play some challenge maps. Alright, so, I guess, what do you guys think would be more interesting, I guess? I'm doing this on the fly here. Probably not stealth, because that just, that's going to have me, like, walking around for five minutes. Just trying to get all the challenges done. I can do the Batmobile races, or, I mean, 
hit and move. Uh, Harley Quinn or Red Hood? Oh, the um. Oh, hey, Ferx, I see you. Ranged beatdown. Do you know how to do the hit and move, Red Hood? No, I do not. What are you talking about, ranged beatdown? Oh, you're talking about like the gun quick fire? See, Arkham Knight. Uh, no, I don't play on PC. I play on PlayStation 4 because <laughs> no one, no one plays Arkham Knight on PC. I mean, the PC port was handled very poorly. And PlayStation usually has exclusives. Like we got joker in arkham asylum we got some skins in arkham city and arkham origins and we got like these are ex playstation exclusives right here the scarecrow nightmare missions no one else got that uh, which i hate I, I think all dlc should be multi-platform i think everyone should experience it but you know since it's not that way i typically go with the playstation uh, i wish a dlc was so much like oh my god yes uh, i'm not going to talk too much about that because me and fergs did a collab video which will be going up soon I don't know if that'll be my 300 subscriber special or not. It might be. I don't really know what to do for my 300 subscriber special. If you guys any, have any suggestions, please tell me. But I will touch on that in my video with Fergs. Uh, in the new Batman game. Oh, they have the Batman Mail 2021. Yes, the Batman Mail 2021 skin. How do you guys feel about that? Because I love it. Okay, I'll just... See, playing... I'll, I'll see if I can put my chat up on screen. Hold up. Uh, Let's see if I can broadcast. Sorry if I accidentally end the chat here. Comments, advanced settings. Hope you guys can still hear me with this. Uh, hold on, I want to see if you guys can still hear me. Yeah, okay, you guys can still hear me. Uh, I'm trying to fix this. Display message, inspector comments. Yeah, but then like I can't see not only half the screen, but also like my screen's like really tiny when I do this. This is gonna be easier to read your comments as. All right, so you guys want me to play Red Hood Harley Quinn? I wish DLC was so much longer. Uh, bomb. Would you say bomb and strike from a uh, th 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 throw a smoke bomb and then strike from a distance? No, I do not. Uh, so I guess I'll play. Sorry about that mic hit. And sorry about the PlayStation fan noise, but I will play the Red Hood DLC then. It's so difficult because I'm I'm standing like six, ten feet away from my PlayStation just to try to make the noise of the PS fans a little bit more bearable. And also, so the game's already small, but with the chat open up, like, it minimizes my game window. Yeah, so this is, like, really painful for me to play here. I wish there's a way to fix it. I want to see, like, the chat on half the screen. I don't know why it minimizes my game window. But, but yeah, also 100% a matter of family three times, which is hard. Because you have to play, you know, the DLC, and then you have to do all the challenges, and then there's the, um, the Joker teeth you have to go and smash. I'm low-key flex. This is, I, I guess it's low-key flex, but really I'm kind of ashamed to admit that I've played these games this many times. Uh, how do you wish to proceed with story content? Oh, restart. So you said throw a smoke bomb, and then, what was it? Throw a smoke bomb, then strike from a distance. Yeah. Oh, they had the new Batman 21 skin. Oh, oh no, my story content will be lost. I'll have to play for 10 minutes all over again. Oh, that's gonna suck, guys. I don't. That's so hard to do. I worked on the Arkham Knight DLC. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I I insulted your um your passion there. It's a great, amazing DLC, AT Jasmine. Amazing. To be completely honest, um, I didn't mind it. It was. Let's see if these guns are everything Black Mask says they are. You call him Black Mask, a liar? Can, Can you hear me over this dialogue? Just show me what we got. I don't want to, like, annoy you with multiple voices at once. Alright, so throw a smoke bomb and then strike from a distance. Okay, something you said? Let's play. Oh, I have not played Arkham Knight in so long. I, I like Arkham... Wait, how did... <laughs> Legit. Wait, no. That's Detective Vision. Okay, now I got it. Here's my gadgets. Well, I don't have smoke. I'm assuming you meant this. Okay. Are you going to be at the War Table event tomorrow? Um, if I wake up in time, my sleep schedule is so messed up. I'm basically awake all night and sleep all day, which I hate, but... Uh, yeah, sure. Arkham Knight, the main character, should have been Hush. He should have definitely been treated better. Are you going to... Uh, yeah, quick throw smoke. Wait, how do I quick throw this? A flash grenade. And then strike from a distance. No, that's... Ow! I haven't played Arkham Knight in so long. So R2R2 does nothing with the Red Hood. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, that's crap. Okay. 
I'm trying to know my quick my quick throw mo but No. Bro. Hold on. Excuse this trash game ball. Oh okay, there you go. Oh. Wait, quick throw smoke and then strike from a distance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do this. Luke, do you play it? Yes, I did, and I almost uploaded a review, but no one's gonna watch that. Only I might do it on Twitter. If you guys want to see that, let me know if I should like do a few paragraphs on Twitter. But no one, no one wants to find you that on YouTube. Wait, wait, okay. It's okay. It really is a lot. I have a lot more respect for streamers because it's so hard to try to read the chat at the same time and play. Do I not have... Okay, so I don't have square-X combo. Do I have circle and X? Nope. Who? Do I have the disarm destroy? Oh, wait, no, that, that's right. This game doesn't have a square-X combo. It just has the pickup weapons. I completely forgot. See, I haven't played Arkham Knight in a while. Arkham City's my main game, I gotta be honest with you. I can't destroy his gun? Oh, that, there's Taser? That kind of sucks. What's your favorite uh, bat suit from the Arkham games? Bat suit from the Arkham games. Um... Probably the Batman Beyond skin from Arkham City, I think. Am I actually going to die? Bro, don't. I'm trying to read the chat and everything at the same time. This is a lot. I have so much more respect for streamers. This is... You've seen my... You've seen me. I, I beat this game through to 40% three times. I'm not bad at the game. I swear, guys. I swear I'm not, I'm not bad at this game. <laughs> it's just... Uh, it's difficult to play and look at the chat at the same time, so I'm going to have to not read the chat for a second. But still, my screen's so small, and I'm so far away from it. So, I got like a 200 combo as Robin today on Joker's Fun House in Arkham City. By the way, Joker's Fun House as Robin is so hard. Sir, okay, do you play The Last of Us 2? What's your favorite batch of Arkham games? Uh, I was doing it. Where is Black Mask keeping the goods? You want information? Read a newspaper. Wrong answer. Okay, okay. Stop. Uh, dude, it's 2020. Go to the news. Who reads newspapers anymore, bro? That. Remember when, like, they blatantly false advertised this game? I remember this was advertised, like, a year before the game came out. And they were like, oh, yes, uh, Arkham Knight and Red Hood are two completely different characters. <laughs> different identities, not different characters, bro. I was doing it. So you mean like the quick fire L2? Or ranged beat down. Throw a smoke bomb and then strike from distance. Six watching now. Look at these scumbags. Stun them with smoke and then when they are stunned you can range to beat down. Oh I hate this. I remember. I, I hate this part so much because he always gets me with the sniper. So I have to like come up here and occasionally when I come up here, here like, yep. No. Arkham City suit versus Arkham Knight suit. Um, do you mean the Batman Beyond suit? I really like what they did with the Batman Beyond suit in Arkham Knight. I really like the futuristic tech look, but I also wish that we had the classic Batman Beyond suit. And honestly, you just can't beat it. Batman Beyond was my childhood. I watched that before the animated series, I think. My dad used to get me the DVDs from uh, Blockbuster, so I have a I have a strong connection to Batman Beyond. Any prayers? Same now. So I'm gonna have to go Arkham City's Batman Beyond suit, but if you're talking about like just the the it's goat, really like the cool. plain standard bat suit for the games, cool. then I would have to go. Um, I keep trying to press L1 for Detective Vision. That's how long it's been since I played Arkham Knight. But I have to have to go uh, Arkham Knights because I love Batman being armored. I'm not even gonna do stealth. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cheese it. Story was like, okay, we're on the gameplay. Uh, yeah, that's what I, that's what I was saying. Uh, oh, no, I didn't mean to go there. Whatever. Ah, bulletproof. I was playing Arkham Origins last night. And the combat is like so, oh, like I forgot how bad that game was, I gotta be honest with you guys. Hold on, enter, oh, it's R2 and circle, not R2 and X in this game. Another small complaint. So, in this game, when you're playing as Red Hood, you only have the option to do a loud takedown through the grate. Same thing with Batgirl. I don't like, I think you should have, 
like on ledge takedowns, you only have the option to do allow takedown too. I think you should have both a silent takedown and allow takedown option. Is that a bulletproof guy? <laughs> Bro. You guys are watching the stream. I'm absolute trash. But anyways, bring me the hood. The rest, do what you want. Oh, Just I haven't seen it. <laughs> Thank you guys. I have not seen a death screen in Arkham game in so long. You guys have uh, broke my record of not dying in Arkham game. <laughs> to be honest, I forgot this game uh, had that death screen. Death screen. No, this is definitely. A lot harder to play. Black mask is dreaming. It ain't worth it. Anyways, any more questions for the chat? I love talking to you guys. I remember he had like a sniper. Yeah, dual hand. Can I? Aim? Oh, I can't. As you know. Don't go up. Don't go up. Thank you. Again, I only have the option for loud. Oh, whatever. No, no, I'm, I'm not doing that to you guys again. We're just gonna, we're just gonna stealth it. I didn't know Montreal worked on Arkham City. Uh, they didn't. Did I say that? What do I want? I, I didn't know Devil Games Montreal. They, oh no, 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 they did. They worked on Batman Arkham City Armored Edition for the Wii U. They ported it over. They also worked on this game for the DLC. They made the Batgirl Matter Let's Family DLC, fight. and I think this DLC too, actually. I don't know. They made some DLC. Uh, what do you want? The new Batman game? I'm going to make a video on that when it gets announced. Five things I want in Gotham Knights, whatever it's going to be called. It could not be called Gotham Knights. That could have been like a dummy. A dummy domain. Amateur. You know, when Batman Arkham Knight... When ba before Batman Arkham Knight was announced, we saw the domain registered, but they also registered like five of their fake names. So they threw us off. But with this, they straight up like screw it, and they just registered one. So either this one's a fake one, and they're going to upload the real one soon, and we're going to have to guess which is which, or they just straight up don't care if we know the name. I think this was another question. Uh, do you think uh, Robert Pattinson's Batman suit will show up in the next Batman game? Uh, it would be a, a missed opportunity if it's not. I'm sure it will. Because if this, first of all, if WB Games is like sold to EA, they're definitely going to want to want to make extra money. But they already will anyways, because they've been in so much debt from the last seven years. So they're going to put a lot of microtransactions in DLC suits. So expect a lot of suits that cost money in the next game. And they're definitely going to want to market Robert Pattinson, because obviously they want to make money off that movie too. So, Expe Yeah, I do think it'll be in the next game, and I hope it is, because I like it. I think Robert Pattinson, I'm, a, I'm excited for the movie. I uh, voice crack. I think it's kind of going to be like... Uh, you lasted this long. I think it's going to be a lot focused on Bruce Wayne and Alfred. Uh, that's what some of the actors are saying. And it looks like a lot like, not as realistic as The Dark Knight was, because The Dark Knight was like really realistic. But I think this movie is going to be, uh... I see, I can only do like loud takedowns with him. I want to have both options. Also, with the zip kick, well, you know like you have the zip kick as Robin and um, Red Hood and other people? I think I should have the option to also pull them like Batman. Pull them and zip kick. That should be a option. M M M okay, MMA or boxing? Uh MMA probably. Batman does MMA, I'm pretty sure. But uh I t I don't like watching, you know, fights. I'm just I don't like watching TV in general. It's me. MMA. Rocky's like my only experience with actual fighting. My little brother likes WWE. I'm disappointed in him. <laughs> I don't know how he likes WWE, but he does. You know what? I probably should have stealth take down all the bulletproof guys and then shot all the orange guys. Whatever. Uh, yeah, the voice cracks. Uh, <laughs> actually, surprisingly, I don't voice crack a lot. But for some reason, whenever like I'm nervous, like right now, I guess I do. 
are you excited for Michael Keaton returning as Batman? That is not confirmed. That is rumor, like I discussed in my video. But most definitely, yes. I have not seen... I think I've only seen parts of Batman Returns. But I have not seen Batman 89 since I was like a kid. So I'm going to have to re-watch that. But even so, I'm still just excited because I I hope the theme, I hope his classic Batman theme shows up. I'm pretty sure Denny of them. But yeah, that's going to be so nostalgic. Remember the old Lego Batman games? <laughs> I remember. That's what that. That's what made me nostalgic for the classic Danny Elfman Batman theme because they used the the theme in those Lego Batman games. So. I am excited for Gotham Knights if it is a Bat Family game. I really want that. Uh, because and these games really feel like the Bat Family is underutilized. Obviously, there's a lot of like really like niche gameplay mechanic complaints that I have like I feel like Batman's way too overpowered and like there's no point playing as any of the side characters besides Red Hood because Red Hood can kill people like instantly and it's easy to play as him but with a lot of the other characters like Robin doesn't have a smoke bomb I don't know why because that's such a useful gadget and it makes I don't know why he doesn't have a smoke bomb I don't know about in this game but in Arkham City he did not have uh, disarm destroy which makes no sense so I hopefully in the next game when the Bat family's playable they um excuse me Scott. And they give them all they equalize them and they give them all equal gadgets so you can play them equally and it's fun because in this game the only reason you'll play the bat family is if you're a comic book fan black mask where is he you ain't gonna kill me you ain't gonna kill me do i look like like batman, batman to you i love that line rethink your answer before i fill you up with lead downtown his office but you ain't gonna get him he knows you're coming freak <laughs> Do you think, uh, Red Hood or Nightwing? Nightwing. I've been loving, um, the Nightwing Chuck Dixon run from 1996 or whatever. I just started reading that, and actually, for a couple of years now, I've been saying that Nightwing's my favorite superhero. 10,200, 10,310. Man, thought you would have lost, lost count, count by, by now. now. I'm not looking at the subtitles. Like, I can't see him from this far away from my TV screen. I genuinely know the lines in this game. And this is even like my favorite Arkham game. Arkham City, I know almost every line. This is like DLC and one of my least favorite Arkham games. My least favorite. There's only, you know, it's my second favorite Arkham game. Arkham City, Arkham Asylum. No, Arkham City, Arkham Knight, Arkham Asylum. It's really hard to look. It's really hard to look at the chat when uh, in combat. You saw what happened last time, especially with this black mass fight. Cause like, I really hate this boss battle. You just shoot him a million times. It's so repetitive. And I have to survive a while, so I can't afford to look at the chat as much. Sorry. I'll still try, though. But anyways, yeah. I I've been saying that Nightwing's my favorite hero for a while, even though I've never actually read a Nightwing solo comic. Or I haven't read too many Nightwing solo comics. Um, but I, I just like the idea of Nightwing, and I like Dick Grayson as a character whenever I read him in Batman comics. But I just started reading the Nightwing Chuck Dixon run a little while ago. So, I prefer Nightwing over Red Hood, Big mistake coming here. but Red Hood's Big also mistake. amazing. I love it. And, uh, what was I about to say? Oh, man, I'm so distracted right now. I have a lot more respect for streamers. So many, like, I'm multitasking so hard right now. Good thing I'm, I'm semi-good at these games, otherwise I'd be absolute dying over and over again right now. Wait, oh no, you can't do the combo on him, that's right. But yeah, Red Hood's good. Um, as Robin, I definitely prefer Dick Grayson more. What? I pressed triangle. Oh yeah, he has off bar. No, as Robin, I definitely prefer Dick Grayson. And as Vigilantes, I still prefer Dick Grayson. But as Robin, I absolutely... I don't like Jason Todd as Robin. The only... Like, a lot of people don't. He was kind of annoying, like, I want to kill, why don't you let me kill? Only people, people like Jason Todd as Robin is because he turned into Red Hood. Okay, I'm sorry, I need to pause. Uh, do you think they're going to use the ma- uh, the maze scene? Oh, I really hope they do the maze scene. Yeah, did you know that there's actually a cancelled level in Batman Arkham Asylum? Originally, Mad Hatter was going to be a villain, and he was going to have a maze. Uh, all these questions. Oh, I need to- uh, Batman, Alien with the voice cracks. 
yeah, I really hope they do. The Court of Owls, that is an amazing scene. Go read that comic right now. There's a beautiful maze, hallucination scene where Batman's in the maze with Court of Owls, and I really hope that's in the game. That'd be fun. I'll talk about it more, but I have other questions. Uh, the thugs in Arkham Asylum are funny because there's... <laughs> yeah, they are funny. When you always knock them down, they always hold their heads, which is weird. Like, if you can punch them in the legs or in the stomach, and they always hold their heads, I always thought it was funny. But also, the, they have, like, funny dialogue in that game. That They're just goofy. And also, the AI is kind of dumb. Like, one situation, I was literally standing right in front of a thug in Arkham Asylum, and I guess it was a glitch, because he didn't see me in the stealth room. And he just turned back around. It was funny. Uh, Red, yes, he is too edgy. That's why I don't like him as Robin. But I think he's better as Red Hood. Uh, Red Hood, yeah, Red, Red Hood's good. I love Red Hood. I just don't, I think he's amazing as Robin, but if he, if you're talking about, like, Robin excluding Red Hood, so you don't know what he becomes, I don't like him as Robin. Uh, Batbale versus Batfleck. Uh, I enjoyed, The Dark Knight is my favorite movie, obviously, so I'm gonna have to go with Batbale. Um, slow down, okay. But I really like Ben Affleck. I think I wish we would have seen more. I did not like that he killed. A lot of people say that, oh, it's, it's good that he killed. Sign about to, but I really didn't like that he killed. Yeah, sure, he has a point with Dick Grayson dying. I understand why he killed, but I wish it would have explained it in the movie better. In my opinion, it would have been better if he didn't kill, though. Like, the Martha scene would have been actually heartbreaking. Can you imagine that? Like, what if the entire movie he didn't kill, he didn't kill? And then, um, what am I trying to say? And then he's like, you know what, I'll make an exception, I'll kill Superman. And the entire movie's off, it's like, no, you don't want to kill, you don't kill. And he's like, Superman's not a man, he's an alien. He doesn't feel emotions. And the entire movie, he's preparing to finally kill a man. And he's like, he justifies it, and he's like, he's not a man, he's not a man. And then when he actually, the Martha scene would have been so much better, because then it would have humanized Superman to Batman, and it would have actually been emotional. But I feel like having Batman killing takes away so much from his character. You know? But that's just my opinion, you guys can feel however you want. Good choice. Yeah, I really like Christian Bale's Batman. They're both good. They both have their own interpretations. I wish we would have seen more Batfleck, because again, I liked him. I just prefer the Dark Knight over Batman vs Superman. And I wish we would have seen the solo movie, but as much as I wish that, I really am excited for a Robert Pattinson movie, I gotta be honest. What? I meant to go to that guy, not a freaking whatever. Yeah, as much... I mean, a lot of people in this stream, thank you. Uh, but as much as I wanted to see... Batflex movie because it would have been basically an Arkham Asylum. He would have been trapped in Arkham. It would have had the same plot as Batman Arkham Asylum almost. I'm really excited for Robert Pattinson because it also sounds interesting and also it's nice. I hope Rob Robert Pattinson's a pretty good actor and he should be known for more than just the Twilight series. Alright, pause the game again. I need to look at this chat. Uh, do you think there's going to be a May scene? I hope there's a May scene. Uh, Red Hood is going to uh, good choice. Do you think Batman games? How do you think the Batman game is going to end? Uh, no way to tell now. <laughs> uh, let me think about that. Or Batson. Batman's good. Uh, Batson. Well, we haven't seen enough of Batson to judge yet. Maybe when we get some screen tests. But nah, I have to see the movie first. And also, you know, it doesn't really matter. What? Yeah, whatever. Uh, ben Affleck is the best actor for Batman, but Snyder ruins it. Doesn't. Yep. I I kind of agree with that. I will say it's nice that Snyder read The Dark Knight Returns, and that he seemed like he was a fan of the character, but it's just like, I like, I, I really do like Batfleck as like an alternate universe Batman, but it's not an alternate universe Batman, that's like the main movie Batman. I think we should, same thing with Jared Leto's Joker. If Jared Leto's Joker was like in a comic book, and it was an alternate universe, then that would have been okay. The problem was, oh I love this. You should have met when you had a chance. You don't need the boost. Give me money. Drugs. Guns. Guns. Weapons. Weapons. Whatever, you want. Whatever you want. Please, please. I'll pick a plane. We've, We've got, got them. Never show my, show my face again. again. Anywhere you Where? want. I'll go anywhere. Tell them that. You can go to hell. Love that. Love this. Say out a joker for me. This DLC would have actually been cool if it was 40 minutes. All this, this, we were cut short in the DLC. Uh, what should I play next? Harley Quinn, you guys said? I'll, I'll wait for more people to come in and give their opinion. What should I play match next? Or challenge maps. Which is, okay, but what was I saying? I was saying something profound. Yes, Jared Leto's Joker was not bad. 
Like, I would have actually, it would have, it's not the best, yeah, sure, but that would have been cool if it was like a comic book where it was like an alternate universe. And it, I know it's too edgy. The problem was, it was the main Joker. We want a different main Joker. Like, if we got that, if we were getting actual, like, good Joker solo movies, but then they made that Jared Leto's Joker the exact same, but he had his own alternate, like, universe movie, that would have been good. I think DC should invest more in a lot of solo movies and a lot of alternate universe movies. Like, Joaquin Phoenix was good, and it was a good movie, definitely, but I feel like another reason why it was good is just, uh, because, oh, well, I don't know, it, it wasn't tied to the main DCEU. We want, we want comic-accurate DCEU, and we want more adventurous solo movies. Or maybe I'm wrong, maybe that's a hot take. That's what I want, at least. Anyways, uh, Ben Affleck, best actor, yeah. Would you see a Batman Beyond Christopher Nolan film? Oh my god, dude, I would. I would like, me personally, a Paul Dini Batman Beyond film. I want a Paul Dini Batman film. Like, I want a more, more mature version of the animated series like the Arkham games. Tell me what to play. Uh, would you see a... No, I don't want you. I would love to see that. And yeah, it seems like he only reads the Dark Knight. <laughs> back. Never killed. He did never kill, but there is a questionable scene where it implies that he shoots the, the woman who's holding the baby. Apparently, uh, I had not kind of a semi-argument with Salvage on Twitter on that. Um, I don't want Batman to kill, but in my opinion, I feel like in that scene, I think he kind of shot her, at least maybe not killed her, but it definitely looked like he shot like her arm or something in that scene. So, again, I don't like Batman killing, but I think in The Dark Knight Returns, he's a little bit more brutal. So I understand what Snyder was going for, but again, that needs to be like his own Batman. That shouldn't be the main universe continuity Batman. Because that's the only Batman that most people are going to know for the next few years. You know, my grandma isn't going to go see, uh, you know, my grandma's going to go see BVS and then think that Batman kills. Like, no, we don't want that. We want comic accurate. Uh, let's see. Oh, but, uh, play the story. It seems like, yeah, play, I might play the story and see what other people say. Let's hope Robert Pattinson going to be similar to Bale Batman, but not, wait. Yeah. Uh, yes, I agree. Robert Pattinson should be... Uh, similar to Bale's Batman, but not copying him. Uh, it looks really interesting. It looks like we're going to get a lot of classic Batman villains, and it looks like it's also going to focus on Bruce Wayne, which I think is good. I think we haven't seen that enough yet. Oh, I've only been streaming for 30 minutes. It feels like an eternity. Man, streaming stressful. Huh? Play, okay, Nightwing, Batgirl, Nightwing, Blowing Minions, Dead Memes! Alright, Dead Memes. I will do Blowing Minions 2 one day. Let's say 10,000 subscribers. I say that jokingly, but I actually, I'm actually um, getting a lot more subscribers soon, so that might be possible in a few years. But it blowing many into on the way. If you guys don't know what that is, like one of my first YouTube videos. I'm one, I have like five YouTube videos. This is my first YouTube videos. Don't go watch them now. I'm asking you guys. Uh, I, but I keep them up in case. Because what I did when I started my YouTube channel, I looked at all my favorite YouTubers' past videos and I saw how they started out. So I'm gonna keep my first videos up, even though I'm ashamed of them. But one of them was, I'm blowing a minion, and it was me and my friends goofing off. My teacher had, like, a minion balloon in her class or something, and it broke, and it ripped, and my friend was, it, whatever. Uh, Batgirl, Nightwing, okay, a lot of people asking for Nightwing, they said rubber hands. If I was, is using, uh, <laughs> wait, really? Did they say that? Ooh. I think uh, William Defoe would be a good Joker. I don't know if Robert Pattinson should use William Defoe's voice as inspiration for Batman's voice, though. Uh, do you think we'll get Jeffrey uh, again? I guess I'll play Nightwing then. Uh, if anyone has any objections, uh, do you think that Jeffrey Dean Morgan is Thomas Wayne Flashpoint? Uh, you know, Michael. Uh, I don't really know. It's uh, it's all up for grabs right now. I think they're both might be in the talks. I would prefer Michael Keaton in Flashpoint, though. Uh, I feel like the CGI trailer is going to show Batman finding the assassins and get just locked down with the Titan issue. That's like a fan fiction. <laughs> um, I would like that, though. That seems like a cool CGI trailer uh, pitch you have there. Oh, no. I have to play through all 10 minutes again? I don't want to erase all my files. <laughs> Let's see. Nightwing. I feel like, I feel like uh, I'll play as Nightwing, then. All my story content will be lost. Oh, no. Dude, a lot of people in the stream didn't expect that many. What was I? I was talking about something. I was going to say really something. Something really profound. I... Hmm. Oh, how do I think the new Batman game will add? That's one of the questions. I don't know. Uh, 
I kind of hope it's a reboot. I know a lot of people are going to disagree because they like the Arkham games. But why do you like the Arkham games? The story or the gameplay? I want a, a soft reboot that borrows a lot of the same gameplay, but the innovates the combat. Check. No gotten money. Check. I love Nightwing. Distinct lack of brain cells. cells. Definitely check. Check. Yeah. This is gonna be fun. I love Nightwing. I've done the light blood I mean, what what was I saying? Yeah, I mean, I hope that they innovate the combat because I'm a little tired of Arkham combat. I, not, not like too much, but I hope they do some interesting things. Because I know I'm gonna get a lot of disagreements, but if you really like Arkham combat, you can go play Arkham City and Arkham Knight. So I just, I don't really care about the Arkham story. We got a nice story. I want them to reboot it so we have all nice Bat family members, you know, Barbara Gordon's back, all this stuff. And that'd be nice. I don't feel like a lot of people like Arkham because of the story too much, you know. No, I mean, the people like it. Like, Arkham City is an amazing story. But people aren't, it's not like it ended on a cliffhanger or something. I'll be happy either way as long as we get a game. Which Batman will be playable in the new Batman game? Um, no one No, My best guess is... If Batman's in it, then Batman, and I bet he will be, just because if it's a reboot, then I don't know why he wouldn't be, and they want to market him, because that's their moneymaker, they like putting Batman in the title, so most likely Batman, and Robin, of course, Batman, Robin, a Nightwing, Batgirl, are probably the most recognizable characters, Batman, Robin, Batgirl, and of course, Nightwing, I doubt Red Hood would join them, as he likes to kill, uh, but yeah, there you go. Rip Arkham games. Yeah, Rip Arkham games. I'm gonna make that. That's probably gonna be the title of my video because there is a good leak suggesting it'll be rebooted. This, uh, oh, there's a leak that came out back in February actually that said that, but I didn't cover it because my channel wasn't around then. But some new evidence that came out uh, that just that verified the leak because of uh, whatever. I'll tell you in my new video, but there's some new evidence that kind of supports that leak that the new Arkham games are gonna get. The new. I hope it's called Batman Gotham. I want a series called Batman Gotham Knights, Batman Gotham City, Gotham Origins. <laughs> you know, uh, I actually I've been theorizing that since uh, sixth grade. Um, <laughs> I remember in sixth grade hearing the Damian Wayne rumors, and I thought that that meant that um, we're gonna get a new Damian Wayne series. And I remember being disappointed that I heard it was gonna be called Arkham. I remember being kind of done with the Arkham title because it didn't make any sense to keep calling the games Arkham when they had nothing to do with Arkham. And then I randomly thought, what if they were called Batman Gotham? Or, or something stupid like that. Like, what else could they call them? And then magically, if that's the new title of the series, I'll be kind of happy because I thought of that in 6th grade. And then I'll be kind of disappointed because I feel like the WB marketing team could do better than what I could do in 6th grade. Anyways. So I do it. Uh, Arkham Knight did end a little... Cl yeah, we did. That is true. I would have really liked... There is That's just a huge lack of communication with WB Games Montreal and Rocksteady. WB Games Montreal kind of ruined the continuity with Arkham Origins. And I'm assuming they tried to leave it... It was just a huge miscommunication. Maybe they were in talks to making the Damian Wayne sequel. And maybe that's why Arkham Knight left a little bit open for WB Games Montreal. So they can make a Damian Wayne sequel. But I just feel like it was, it's just a mess. It really is sad the way the Arkham games ended. But, you know... It's always, reboots are good, and honestly, it's been five years since an Arkham game, so I'd be kind of surprised if they make another one. A lot of people just forget, Arkham's not why those games made money. You didn't put Arkham in the title and it made money. No, no, no. You put Batman in the title. People didn't buy the games because they saw Arkham in the title. Yeah, sure, maybe hardcore fans like me that loved Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, but I'm still going to, all the hardcore fans are still going to buy a Batman game. We don't really, you know, care. And it, if, if you're a new player... You're probably not gonna. You're more likely to buy a new Batman game than one in an ongoing series because then you think you're not gonna understand it. If it's like the fifth installment in the series, you're gonna think, "Well, I haven't played the first, you know, four games, so I'm probably not gonna understand this." So it's probably smart to reboot it. Uh, yeah, I agree. Armor. Yeah. I wish WB was like inside. Yeah, me too, man. I wish WB. Oh yeah, the few multi take down. <laughs> I forgot that existed in this game. Bro, that's so overpowered. Catch. I don't really need Batman, bro. Why do I need Batman? I've been on my own for like, what, five years now? I'm Nightwing, bro. Oh, what? I thought I could stun him before he hit me.
diss track and podcast now. Oh, I haven't tweeted that. I, I meant to tweet that. Yeah. So I did make a video calling out podcast now. But honestly, well, first of all, he has like 30,000 subs, and I'm sure maybe half of them are kids, because there's no way people actually, you know, watch him just because they think he has amazing content. People either watch him because they just need some Arkham news, and I'm sure if I made, uh, I'm sure if I started YouTube drama with podcast now, then I would probably get a few subs, because there are people subscribed to him that don't like his videos, but they just want uh, news, and I'm sure if I, if I started drama and they found out about my channel, they would come here. But I'm sure there's like 15,000 subs about that are just kids that will do anything for him. That will do anything for him. There's Tiny from Arkham City. So I I know what if I start YouTube drama, my, my comments are going to be flooded with kids like, Podcast Now is amazing! Ah, oh, you hater! Because again, he played the victim card. If you remember that video that he straight up stole my, kept stealing my videos. And when I finally asked him, I'm like, dude, either you give me a shout out or you don't. <laughs> or you don't, um you stop watching my videos and stop stealing my videos he made a video about you know how I made the Gotham Knights video where I called the Gotham Knights title before anyone else and I made that video like three days before anyone else made a video on it and I know I'm not the one that came up with the theory but I made several talking points in that video that no one else did and he straight up quoted me word for word and in that video my Gotham Knights video because I was so tired from stealing my other videos I was like podcast now if you're watching this dude give me a proper shout out give me like a good shout out as much as you do your discord server and what he did was uh, go watch the video now if you don't believe me but I recommend you not because I, I don't want him to make money he he straight up at the beginning of the video he said I have to give credit to this guy on Twitter I didn't know anything about this and then I like I looked up Gotham Knights on uh, Twitter randomly and I just saw this like literally that was his excuse and I'm like dude you're telling me instead of shouting me out you're straight up lying and you're like oh I randomly looked up Gotham Knights on Twitter no one believes that maybe the kids in your audience do but you're trying to tell me that you just randomly looked up Gotham Knights on Twitter and that's how you found out about this like dude and if you're watching this video if you're a fan of podcasts now then I have to ask you look uh, thanks for being a fan but can you like not send my videos to him because either he's subscribed or people are sending videos to him and I know there are a few of my people on my channel that still like podcasts now so please don't send my videos to him if you want him to cover the news that's great but, like he just steals my content so I'm gonna have to politely ask you guys to not um, send my videos to podcast now because he, he just steals them he gets 14,000 views or whatever like one of his videos he got like 14,000 views and I got like 900 he gets way more he makes money off of what I, do, what I do for free I'm 16 I'm doing this for a hobby like this is just a hobby of mine and you know he's um he's making money off it and it, it makes my stomach sick I really hate it but I wasn't I, I made a video on him but I don't think I'm gonna upload it just because I don't want that type of toxicity toxicity oh, in my community this is not what I envisioned when I started my YouTube channel a few months ago I don't want to start drama which is why I'm not gonna upload it if he continues to steal my videos not give me credit at all or gives me bare minimum credit and makes money off of me then I will upload it or something but I just don't want to get into a fight and I don't want to get my comment section flooded with podcast now stands and I'm sure I, I'm sure I, dead memes is right he made a good point I would probably gain a lot of subscribers from it but I just don't want to start drama that's just not what I'm here for I'm not here for clout like I do it like yeah sure I like new subscribers and I love it and sure it'd be nice if I made money but I'm not I'm not monetized I'm not doing this for more subscribers I'm doing this because I, I really like you guys and I like the community I'm in I mean, so which is why I'm not going to start drama. If he continues to steal my stuff, then he'll get me ticked off enough to where I, uh, you know, then I'll make a video on it. I don't know. I doubt he'll ever see this, but if you're watching this podcast now, or if you find you ever find your way upon this clip, dude, stop stealing my videos or give me like a good, decent shout out and advertise the link to my channel in the description. I have no idea why you're not doing it. Like, are you offended by me? That's the only reason I can think of. But you shouldn't be, because it's not like I'm ever going to get more than a thousand subs. Like, I have a few people in my comments telling me that they came from podcasts. Uh, they didn't uh, didn't come from him, because they didn't advertise my channel. But I have a few people in my comments telling me, um, yes, dead memes. You can 100% be toxic on my behalf. <laughs> sure, anyone that wants to be toxic to him, go ahead. It's a free country. I'm not going to do it, but I'm not going to stop anyone. But what was I saying? Anyways, it's just like, I was saying something. I'm so distracted streaming. I hope you guys aren't bored because I'm not playing the game. But, like, I'm just tired. Yeah, I have people telling me that they have, um, 
that you know podcast now didn't shout me out but i have people telling me that they used to watch podcasts now and then one of my videos got recommended to them and they instantly stopped watching them and they started watching me i've had like two three people in my comments tell me that in the past few days which is insane because now this is the only thing i can think of maybe he knows that if he shouts me out he's gonna lose like maybe 50 subscribers i don't know but it's so stupid like dude can you just give me a shout out i'm doing this for fun you scummy guy making money off my hobby like what a jerk I don't want to start YouTube drama, but there you go. That's why. Whatever. Anyways, uh, let's talk about this. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, chat. Let's go to the chat. Play story. Uh, do you think we'll get your uh, Barker games? What if someone and Sony make Batman? Yes, I want Sony to handle Batman games. What I mean by that is obviously in a perfect world, in a perfect world, Sony would buy WB games and not make it PlayStation exclusive because I want everyone to be able to experience the next Batman game. But I love Sony exclusives because Sony gives the developers all the time they need, all the money they need, and complete freedom. And that's exactly what DC games need. If we could have DC games universe, that'd be amazing. So I kind of hope Sony buys them, but I know that they'll be turn it into a PlayStation exclusive. So I guess the best case scenario, no one buys them, or some weird company that no one heard heard of buys them, and they give them the treatment they deserve. Insomniac made Batman. Yeah, Insomniac. Oh man, Insomniac made Batman game. That'd be good. Uh, does care for characters. Sorry, it was a great game. Yeah, I want a Nightwing spinoff. If we get a Nightwing spinoff game, that'd be amazing. Uh, podcast now repeats his vids a lot. Yep. Yep. I thank you, thank you for saying I'm better than the podcast now. I got I got a lot of people watching this stream, so a lot of people like me just sitting around here talking about podcasts now. I guess I haven't even done any gameplay, so thank you for that. Uh, last few questions in the chat. I'm right about podcast now. Wow, thank you very much. Podcast, yep, yeah, no podcast now is over party. <laughs> be toxic by my behalf if you really want to. I don't recommend. It. Yeah, sure, be toxic if you want to. I'm not going to stop you. Do you think the website is going to change on July 6th? Uh, I think the date was July 9th, they said, but it could be. I hope they reveal it for their sake, because K-Wing said that he had seen images from the source of, like, really, um, he has seen some images of the leaked Batman game, and that, uh, his source might leak them if the game's not revealed soon or whatever. So, if the game is not revealed within, until, like, DC Fando, then I think we're gonna see some leaked images within the next few weeks, or, you know, month or whatever. But hopefully it'll be revealed before then, because the DC Fandom website said, I uh, expect articles covering new content between now and DC Fandom. So it might be revealed between now and then, and then we just get, like, gameplay at DC Fandom or something. This is a cool area. I don't think I've ever been here before. It's nice. Oh, man, if Podcast Now saw this, he'd make an entire video on this area. <laughs> Anyways. Six new much now. Uh... I just love all your vids. Keep up the good work there. Uh, thank you so much. 286 subscribers. I really meant what I said today. I really like, I do a flip every time I get a new subscriber. Like, I'm actually, I get excited. I love getting new subscribers. I'm just here for the community. Like your vid. Man, thank you so much. I don't know how I entertain you. While you guys are here, any constructive criticism? Uh, like, do I talk? I know I talk too fast sometimes, and you can, I talk too You're fast, and like, I high. breathe too much. You're gonna get it, man! Idiot. And you were doing so, so well. well. You're headed to Gotham. What for? I ain't telling you nothing. You know 50,000 volts we'll to the head, the head hurts, hurts, right? right? Okay, they're busting him out of GCPD. You're too late. Too late. It's already, it's already happening. happening. Why so pessimistic? Why so pessimistic? <laughs> I love Nightwing. Uh, I recommend you go read the, uh, the Nightwing comics uh, from... Uh, you know, 1990s uh, Chuck Dixon, very really good. Hi Luke, love your vids, by the way. Batman vids. Hold on, I have to sneeze. Look at that filler. They added an extra 10 seconds <laughs> to this you know, DLC. The with a self option, you could have asked, asked him why. why. Oh, that haircut. Word in Mr. Haircut's weird. Oh, uh, yes. The stony faced intractability we left him for. How do you go from a mullet to These that? Guys, on the other hand, <laughs> very tractable. His haircut's good, but when you go to the back, he has like no hair on his back of his head. I love this. Do you moron? Cut the power after I get out. I can't do an accent. British accent. I'm too southern. Uh, thank you for liking my vids, dude. That really does mean a lot. Who said that? 
Uh, Seth Hatcher, nice. Oh, I wasn't looking at my screen for a second. Wait, I forgot what. Got. Got to step his nightwing. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. He has like no gadgets. There's no point to playing his Bat Family characters unless like you legitimately just want to play as them. Because in like in Arkham City, they gave Robin like a Snap Flash and the bullet shield. The bullet shield's kind of okay, but like the Snap Flash is laughable. Like they have some stupid gadgets. What I would do is, first of all. Batman doesn't need so many gadgets. Take away the line launcher. He has a cape. Nightwing should have the line launcher, and it makes no sense for Batman to have the electric blast. I have Nightwing have that with his extremist stick. You know, gives Nightwing some unique gadgets that are actually good. Same thing with Robin and Batgirl. Have them all have eight gadgets. Have them all have some similar gadgets. Have them all be balanced. And I hope with Gotham Knights as a Batman -like game, it will do that. Anyways, uh, like your vids. Uh, only, only if it was open world. I think. Because you don't click me and never spend 10 minutes saying the same thing. Thank you. That's why I kind of talk fast in my videos. Because, um, I, if, I, I'm i worried I talk fast. Tell me if I do, if I talk too fast. But I'm just so worried that, like, I'll drag a video out too long. And I want to get the news out of the way as quickly as possible. And then give my opinion. A, a podcast now drones on for, like, two minutes before it even gets to the topic. Me, what I like to do is I like to say the news off the bat. And say any little, little news that we have. And then I'll get to the main news. And then I'll give my opinion afterwards. Like in today's video, I talked about why Arkham being delayed and to uh, 2021 was a good thing, and I still think that. I still think Arkham's a good thing. I'll try to stay positive. I feel like a lot of people are getting negative, and that's understandable. Like a lot of these longtime YouTubers, you know, that I've grown up with and I respect, they're all negative, and I completely on, understand. Put up a fight, please. Because uh, they've been making videos on this for five years. Couldn't agree more. But uh, I've been. Installing the remote uplink device, we can see what damage they've done. I've been. Uh, what am I trying to say? I've been watching their videos, you know, for five years. So, and I'm still trying to be optimistic a little bit because I know the community needs that. I'm trying to be as positive as I can be about things. You know, like the most negative I've been is the the video where AT and T is selling WB games or whatever, and um, I try not to do that anymore. I immediately after uploading that video, I was like, I was too negative in that. Like, I'll try to be positive. No one talk to me. What's going on? They are. Uh, Thugs are the best parts boss. of the game, I agree. Oh, I love this. We just got our asses <laughs> Hang on, who's it? Oh, no. Not you. The one and only, one and only Oz. Oz. Look, just relax. Now that I'm here, I'll have you back down and behind bars in no time. Piss off, pretty boy. I love you Nightwing. Know I love it when you get angry. <laughs> okay, I'm connected. They've done a good job, but not good enough. He's the yin to Batman's saying. But it means rewiring some junction boxes. Batman needs some positivity in his life. Below. I'm on it. What happens if I jump down so, here? Will he grapple up? You uh, pretty much own pretty much everything, everything, everything now, huh? Right? I hope you're not going to oh, ask, ask me for a loan, Mr. Grayson. Grayson. But I bet you've been throwing some mad parties, parties, right? Off the chain, chain, I believe, I believe they, they say. <laughs> I want a Nightwing solo game. I've been asking that for years. Tell me if like the volume's too loud in the game or something. I'll try to adjust it. But anyways, back to the chat. Um, uh, w would you want? Oh yeah, I just answered that question by myself. I would love a Nightwing. I would love any game. I would love basically any Bat Family member. In a perfect world, we'd get a Batman game every year, and it would be a Batman game, then a Nightwing game, and it would be just this rotating universe. Maybe Gotham will be that. Maybe we're going to have Gotham Knights, and then maybe we're going to have a spinoff for Nightwing and then in, uh, with Batgirl, and then that'd hold us off. They'd get third-party companies to do a game every, uh, and then we have a constant, like, rotation, and then every, like, three or four years, the main series will be Gotham Knights, and then we'll get solo games, you know? If I worked at WB, I would have had three. Dude, honestly to God, I know I'm 16. I know it sounds. I know I sound like a cocky idiot when I say this, but I legit could run WB better than who AT&T. Like actually, because I'm a fan. Like I know it sounds stupid when I say that because I know nothing. But I legit, I would like green light not everything. I don't want to green light a bunch of trash projects. But I would, I would plan a lot. Tell me if I know you guys will probably I know you guys will want to see this video because you guys are my number one fans Anyone watching the stream right now obviously really enjoys me, but the main audience probably won't which is why I won't make it But I have this video pitch uh, which this video where I talked about my my dream Arkham series And it would be like this 12 game arc which I know is stupid and unbelievable 
but I want to make that video one day, maybe. Like, if I if I ran WB games, I would make 12 Batman games in the span of, like, 15 <laughs> I, I would make 12 Batman games. It would be, like, a, a origin series. Like, Batman Arkham Origins would have been a series. The Arkham games would have been a series. Damian Wayne would have been a series. That would have been called Batman Gotham something. And then I would make a Batman Beyond series with Damian Wayne training Terry McGinnis instead of Bruce Wayne. And that would be cool. So, tell me if you guys want to see that video where I outline it. Uh, or a Robin game, yeah, choose between EA and Activision. Don't make me choose between EA and Activision. Um, EA, I guess, because they're kind of turning around with the Battlefront 2 launch. They're trying to erase that image. I'm sure they're going to snap back in a couple years. But since they got a lot of bad publicity, they're trying to turn it around. So uh, maybe EA. Activision really ran Spider-Man into the ground, so I don't know. At least with EA, you're going to get, like, a somewhat good game. Like, they hire good companies, like Respawn and DICE. The problem is they ruin it with microtransactions and lack of content. So if EA made a Batman game, it would probably be a good base game, but it wouldn't have content. It would have a lot of glitches, and it would have a bunch of microtransactions, like $15 to get the grapple gun or something. Um... Yes, this is the Nightwing DLC. What type of Joker will be in the Batman game? Um, hopefully uh, some Joker that is a side mission. I don't think a lot of people want him as the main villain in the next game. Hey, Mike Wazowski. Uh, yes, make those bids. I may, Yeah, I'll make like a vid. Woke Batman game with three fingers. I don't get it. Oh, is that a Last of Us 2 reference? I don't, I don't get it, type memes. How's my, is my mic like cutting out? Because occasionally, I love this dialogue. Oh God, this ain't happening. Nice Arkham City reference. Oh, I used to like, I already messed it up, but I used to have like a route that I took with this challenge because there is a predator, there is a challenge map. dead? Don't tell him. Ah, shoot. But this is like a, there's a challenge map for this predator room, and it has one of the worst challenges. It's don't break the glass. No one is allowed to shoot the glass. You're not allowed to break the glass at all in this building. And it is a pain to do. It took me like days to finally pull off. And I had to memorize this perfect like route to take to stealth everyone and not like have me seen, not have any thug shoot the glass. And I was a beast. I'm like a beast at this map, but I think I kind of forgot most of the route. And I already messed it up anyways. They already know I'm here. Oh yeah, I can't stealth take down that guy. I like how there's like... Th I guess <laughs> Rocksteady seems to think that there's like, you know, giants everywhere with giant machine guns. Ah, uh, shoot. Oh! Nah, bro. You know what? I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it. You know what? Nah. I'm so indecisive. I want to restart, but I want to like play this out, see how it goes. I wish Telltale uh, made Batman. Suit. Yes, they could, cause they were bought out after they were like went out of business, like all their assets were bought out or something. So it's technically possible, and we could see another Batman Telltale game, if not Batman Telltale Season Three. Oh shoot! There's a door right there. No, no. Yeah, I'm restarting. I can't do this. It's so hard to look at the chat and play at the same time. Do you play fighting games? And do you? Okay, uh, I do. I don't like fighting games. I'm pretty bad at them. But I played Injustice because just because DC games. By the way, it's free right now on PlayStation Store and I think on like Steam and Xbox. What I think it's free on almost all platforms. But go pick that up right now. Uh, it is. I only have three game, three games on disc so, for PlayStation I've Four. Been thinking, you uh, pretty much own everything. Ah, uh, huh? this dialogue—it's so I tiring to hear. Going to ask me for a loan, Mr. Grayson. But I bet you've been throwing some mad parties, right? Keep pressing L1. I believe they say. It's the up on the <laughs> D-pad. Guys, I ain't got a clue what I'm looking at here. Penguin don't want to hear that, man. Just fix it. Uh, what's Nightwing doing here anyway? I thought he went back to blood. Oh no. Oh god, someone's down! 
No, dang it. And it was I gonna say, I was gonna say something profound. I was gonna be an amazing statement about our society or something. I hate that when I can't remember what I was saying. Shoot. Oh no. One more. Can I do it? No, I can't. Do I like Margaret? Uh, I love her as Harley Lou. Oh, that's good, Seth. Um, you're playing Injustice right now. Not so cocky now. I remember what I was saying. Let me finish that thought. I only have three games on PlayStation 4 on disc. Those are like, oh, that was rude. Kick. Those are like games that I, I um, my dad bought me. Like, you know, when I first got PlayStation 4, like, I never buy disc games. I like going digital now. I prefer disc games, as always. I love getting the disc. A long story short, my brother scratched a lot of disc, and they take up too much desk space, you know, just cases. So. And as much as I prefer disc, like, the digital is just easier to manage, I guess. So the only three games I have are, like, Lego Batman 3, FIFA 14, which, by the way, I don't think I'll ever play FIFA 14 again. Like, that was only fun to play with my dad. Lego Batman 3, I think I platinum, so I don't I have to ever worry about playing that again. And Injustice. And Injustice is free right now in the PlayStation Store, so I was able to delete my disc version, and I bought the digital version. So now I have nothing holding me back from getting the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. Because I think, like, I'm not going to sell my PlayStation 4. I'll still have a DVD player if I ever need it. I mean, what do you guys think? I think I'll buy the Digital Edition for the PlayStation 5. I mean, there's no point to getting the disc version for me. I don't think. Especially if the digital edition is cheaper and it comes with like more storage, then I'll definitely buy it. I've been thinking. You uh, pretty much own everything now. Huh? I have a two terabyte external hard drive for expansion. But I bet you've been throwing some mad parties, right? So I don't think storage is an issue either. Like I literally every game I've ever bought on PlayStation 4, I am able to have because uh, I have the two terabyte uh, extension. You. I'm doing the same thing I did last time. Why am I doing that again? I failed. What am I? What am I doing? I don't. I don't know. I'm playing on autopilot right now. I'm sorry, guys. I'll make it a little bit more interesting. Anyways, so I think I might get the digital edition. Would you like to see Batman Under the Red Hood, uh, a live action movie? Yes, I would. I would love that. Uh, I like Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. Yeah, sure. Um, I don't like Suicide Squad, but I liked her as Harley Quinn, yeah. I think that it was weird seeing her and Joker in an actual romantic relationship. Because it, it really... Joker was a weird character in that movie. I, I'm interested to see if what the air cut looks like if we ever see that. Um, fighting games. Uh, yeah. Injustice. I'm not good at fighting games, but like, when I... There was a time when Injustice came out when I was starred for Arkham Combat. Where I just played Injustice, and oh my god, I could destroy anyone as Batman. And Green Lantern, too. So upset Nightwing wasn't in the game. I don't understand why they made, like, Robin an entire character. When he's only in one mission in the story, you know? He's legit, like, just... In one minute. Robin, in that mission at the beginning, should have been a premiere skin for Batman. He should have had the same moveset as Batman. And since Nightwing is in way more featured, Nightwing should have been brought back. Because I really liked Nightwing in the first Injustice game. I liked his combos. Hopefully he's in the third one. When Injustice 3 is announced, I'll make a lot of videos on it, and I'll make characters wishlist. Tell me if you guys want to see that. Oh, yeah, the medics in this game exist. I haven't played this one so long. Uh, any thoughts for Spider-Man, Miles? Uh, oh, any thoughts? Um, I'm buying a PlayStation 5 just for that. I wasn't going to buy it at launch. I was going to wait a year or two, but I think I might buy Spider-Man, Miles, Miles just for that. Uh, I love it. Oh, yeah. But I have a 10-minute video recorded. I haven't uploaded it yet, and I don't think I have time to upload it because there's so much news. I recorded this video like a week ago, but hopefully within the next week, except a video on my thoughts on Miles Morales. I made a 10-minute video just gushing over the game because I love it so much. I love the idea of it, especially since it's a spinoff, and we're still going to get Peter Parker in a direct sequel, and this is just something to hold us off. I really love it. Um, do you like... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I like Mark Robbins, Holly Quinn. What? So many people in one... I don't have a smoke bomb. Man, this game. All Bat Family characters should have a smoke bomb. That is the most useful gadget. Oh my god. I, again, it's just like a niche nitpick, and no one else... No one, I've never heard anyone else bring up the point. 
which is why it kind of, I guess, gets me mad. No one else has ever brought this up in a YouTube video, I don't think. But I really, I hate how the Bat family is handled in these games. Like, they're just... Why I just do that? Oh, I actually pulled that off. <laughs> but, like, they're so underpowered. There's no point to play as anyone but Batman. Yeah, the thugs really are amazing in this game. I agree. Their thug dialogue is, uh... It's really good. What is the most annoying enemy type in the Arkham series? That is a really good question. Um... Shield, no, not shield. Either armor guys, or you know what? Probably the taser guys. Just because I've had my combo broken by them so many times. By the way, a uh, little thought, little tidbit right here. I don't understand. Wait, can I do this right now? A secure area. This is like a 10 minute DLC. It offers three enemy encounters, and that's it. It's so stressful. This is probably taking me like 20, 30 minutes just because I'm so distracted right now. What was I gonna say? Yes. Okay. I don't understand. Oh, why, why would you get that guy? That literally, that is a great segue into what I was about to say. So, if I'm in a combat room and there's a, a guy with a stun stick and a normal guy right next to each other, why on earth does Batman always try to hit the stun stick guy? That makes no sense. He saw me. Like, if I- if they're right next to each other, Batman always tries to hit the stun stick. Nah. I was trying to press, uh, R2 and X. I'm so used to playing Arkham City, the- the button layout controls changed. I think it's an improvement. I like the button layout in this game. I'm just not used to it, because I- I don't play it a lot. I have not watched Birds of Prey. That is literally the only, like, DC movie I haven't seen, I think. Modern DC movie, at least. Yeah, I just don't watch it. Too much of a hassle. I watched Joker, but it, a lot of things were going on, on in my life right then and there, and I wanted to see it, but I honestly couldn't, and it looked kind of weird and out there, and I was like, eh, I was, I planned on seeing it, but then like, you know, COVID and everything. Two hostiles. Anyways, yeah, that's, that's it. like right there, like when I, I did the corner tick down and it took out the medic behind the medic that was right in front of me, that made no sense. The game should like auto lock to be most convenient. The auto locking in this game is a little weird. Thank you, Desk. You just saved my life. <laughs> I just feel like the auto locking in this game could be improved. And tell me if you guys feel the same way. I want like. Maybe not a completely revamped combat style system, Man, I'm good. but I want, I want like the combat in the next uh, Gotham game if they reboot the franchise, and it looks like Gotham's gonna be the name of the new series. I want it to be really like revisited and improved in a lot of ways and changed. Okay, junction box rewired. Enemy type of games again, One maybe Taser, because like. Newlyweds in their regards, by the way, Miss Gordon, uh, Miss Gordon Drake, I should say, was kind enough to send some pictures. The island retreat looks lovely. That's the oh, only like story content in this DLC. There's no there's no story in this DLC. It's just like a straight line. Like the tease at uh, uh, Tim and Barbara being married. That's like the only semi story content. False advertise, bro. Can't wait for the Flash movie. Me too, man. That was announced years ago. It keeps getting delayed. It's like a meme at this point. No, but at least like with the armored guys, if I accidentally hit them, it just breaks my combo. But when I accidentally hit the taser guys, it completely like damages me, and it's just annoying. I, I'm stunned for a few seconds, and I do the stupid animation. I understand it, and I like the idea of having to jump over an enemy and press uh, square and attack them. I like that. I like that, like gameplay-wise, it just kind of annoys me. It's a little thing. Okay, Lucius, we're done. Re-establishing power now. Yes, new stuff. But I, there's only so many new stuff you could do, Jaden. My buddy. Um, I'm trying to think. Like Arkham Knight is really. First of all, it's so unrealistic. Like our, Batman's flying across the room with the current combat system. I want it to be a little bit more realistic. Kind of Last of Us X. Last of Us our combat really sucked. I mean, like real, like Last of Us combat is realistic. I want it to be like that type of realistic, but actually fun in some way. Like strike, strike, block. Instead of having, I could make a video on this. Never mind, I'll make a video. I'm not gonna tell you guys my video. This is a good video, but like, 
Maybe like Jedi Fallen Order. Something like God of War. Oh, I should have. You know what? I'll do the free mode. Uh, that'd be good. DC Universe. That was free. I, I installed DC Universe. I never played it. I don't have time. I would show you guys right now, but every time I exit out of the game, I, um, like, it, it does a little blue screen, and you can't see my actual PlayStation, like, home. I have, like, 60 games on my PlayStation right now, and I have all of them installed with the 2 tier. So, storage isn't a problem for me, and especially if the PlayStation 5. Why doesn't Nightwing have the line launcher? He doesn't have a K like he should be the only one in the back family justified from the line launcher and he doesn't have it. Instead I'm having to use this to get around, I'm like grappling and then stopping. <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah. Uh let's read the chat for a second here. Uh it is universe online, yeah. Um they should do an online game Gotham might similar to Battlefront 2. Yes, I was gonna talk about that. Uh, I want options to kill Batman, the uh, options to kill as Batman and that affect the Gotham City. That'd be interesting. Uh, I wouldn't want that as like the main story, uh, like the main game, but if we were getting a Batman game every year or something, or, like Arkham, like every two years, like we were with the Arkham games, then it'd be interesting to try out. But since we haven't gotten the Batman game in like five years, I'd prefer like just a good old fashioned Batman game or Bat Family game. Um, I want options uh, if. If someone gave you twenty million dollars to make an Arkham sequel, uh, what would you improve the rest of the games? What comic book uh, would you base? What comic book? Ooh. Oh man, there's so many things to choose. Like Ira Jen said, like he couldn't make a Batman movie because there's so many things to choose. Now you're making me think I can't do this on the fly. It's uh, that's I'm trying to think right now because I'm streaming. I should be playing. It's so hard to play a game because you know I'm trying to do two things at once. But ah, oh, what? I don't know how I was able to do a free multi down last time. Whatever. See, combat kind of sucks as Nightwing. Anyone bat Batman in this game sucks. This should have been the ultimate Batman experience. And it kind of was. It's the best in the Arkham games. But still, there's so many things that could have been improved. And I'll come back to that question in a minute. Don't, don't worry about that. But... Alright, I need to stop looking at the chat. I would need to play for a second here. I started to do some critical strikes. Oh. See, I hate I hate the taser guys. That is most definitely my most hated enemy in the Arkham games. Tell me what you guys want me to play after this, because I'm done with the 10 minute story DLC. Why not? Oh, yeah, I thought I could. You know the music's playing right now? The music they're playing right now? Have you ever seen the movie Harry Potter and, um, what was the second one called? The Chamber of Secrets? By the way, good. you should, if you like enjoyed the Harry Potter movies, you should read the books. So much better. But anyways. And the movie Chamber of Secrets, the music that plays during when they go into Chamber of Secrets, it sounds just like this. Like, legitimate copyright. I, like, I swear to God. I don't, it just, every time I hear it, it reminds me of the Chamber of Secrets scene. Let's see. What? What? <laughs> that did nothing, bro. Trying to make a Batman game. There's so many good games. Again, I want a Dark Knight Returns game. I want a Damon Wayne Batman game. I want all these games. Honestly, the one we're getting right now sounds amazing. But whatever it is, it would be the ultimate Batman experience. Whether the Bat family would be heavily featured in the main story or not is, I don't know if I would do that, but they would definitely be great DLC characters. Um, what comic book would I base it on? Not The Killing Joke. What's a good comic book? Honestly, the quarter of owls. That's just because I'm just I've been thinking about it a lot lately. But yeah, like what the begins Montreal's doing. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna be optimistic. I'm gonna say that the quarter of owls game, Batman Arkham Knights, 
has the potential to be the best Batman game, better than Arkham City. Oh, Arkham City's main theme is amazing. We're getting you out. You are. Where's Nightwing? Wait. Oh, he's right, right here. here. We thought you'd want to say hello. hello. Oh, I, do. I love this, bro. I have to go to the bathroom. Be right back. Much obliged. Maybe we should get that light on the roof fixed. Change the symbol. What do you say? Thanks for the offer. But this isn't permanent. Hey, little man. Place hasn't been the same without you. Get stuck. Hey, what is up? Smile, Kyle. Smile. TV. What's up, man? Arkham City's main theme is amazing? Yes, it is. What do you guys want me to play now? Tell me. Um, Arkham City's main theme is absolutely uh, the best out of any Arkham game. Arkham Origins is a good second. I was listening to that last night. By the way, I play like Arkham Origins multiplayer still to this day. Hope the next game has multiplayer. I'll talk about that in a minute when I want the next game to be like multiplayer-wise. Um, and then it's Arkham, Arkham Knight, and then Arkham Asylum. Arkham Asylum's theme is like, I don't know, it's like, it's weird, like, weird. What? Oh yeah, my head, my headset's so janky. It, the sound was only coming out of the left side for a second. I have like this few year old $50 headset, which by the way is the same headset I used to record my videos. Harley Quinn, uh, yes, I have not played it on stream yet. Oh no, all my content will be lost. Yes, I'm gonna say that joke every time. Batgirl's the only DLC that I don't know if I'll, if I have to play, the, if you guys want me to play Batgirl DLC, I'll probably go to my separate save file. Cause I don't feel like playing, if I play it again, then I have to play the entire thing and then I have to find all the Joker teeth and all the balloons and do everything, all the little side mission stuff just for it to say 100% again. Uh, again, I mean, my OCD will go through the roof. One of the facilities that contain someone like Poison Ivy. We just gotta hold her for a few more hours before she gets transferred to Black. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't tear down the Bloodhaven Police Department first. Ooh, tax money. I've never seen a Catwoman. You want me to play the Catwoman DLC? Hey, donuts, you gonna bring Ivy to me, or am I gonna have to get her? Ah, right the classic now? skin. Hot take. Maybe this is not a hot take, I don't know. But I personally. I forgot what gadget she has. Oh yeah, she has the, like the the mayhem mode thing. I for does she only have the special? What moves does she have? Like, can I press circle and? What did that cop just say? Okay then. <laughs> Do I have like the the square triangle takedown? I think it's annoying that like very few DLC characters, if any, I, I can't think of any right now. I'm sure one or two do though. Very few DLC characters um, actually have like full combo move like Batman does. Like I'm talking. How do I build up mayhem mode? It's very slow build up. Uh, quit wasting time, you stupid mug. We need poison ivy and got them now if our 
game. There's a door. Hot take. I really don't like the Harley Quinn skin in um, the base game. Honestly, neither did I in Arkham, As Arkham Asylum. Arkham City is the only one that I can kind of take. Alright. Jeez. Can I not move? Oh. Yeah, I'm losing viewers. Don't worry, guys. I'll play another DLC soon. That's annoying. Yeah, I know. Her voice is uh, pretty annoying. I don't like her voice. And also, when, um... I prefer her outfit when she has, like, uh, more classic colors. God, I hate her voice. Harley and Catwoman in live action. Oh, uh, yeah. Anne Hathaway and uh, Margot Robbie. Dark Knight Rises in... Uh... Oh, wasn't Catwoman also? In Birds of Prey? Wasn't... I didn't see it. Okay, yeah. People obviously don't like the Harley Quinn DLC. Don't worry. I'll play something else soon. What? I couldn't do the loud takedown? so unrealistic that Harley can like just clear the room of armed men. Anyone else have any questions, bro? Let's get the chat popping again. 120 messages, nice. Your comments are being deleted? Really? YouTube that's that's a glitch on YouTube. Um, hold on. Oh, I can take them out in one hit if they're stunned. Okay, okay. I I was show too, man. Heath Ledger was definitely taken from this world too soon. That's uh, really tragic, and he was most definitely the bad. Ooh, is it telling me to put the box there? Is that like a? What happens if I put it there? Oh, is this a breakable wall? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. I, I meant to press L1 for detective vision. I always forget and it's on the top keypad in this game. Three little piggies. Yeah, it keeps deleting your comments. Like, hold on, let me check. Does it delete them to where I can't see them or does it like... That sucks, like really? That's been a glitch on YouTube lately. It deletes my comments too. That's why, if you notice in my past videos, I don't have a top comment pinned anymore, usually. Because what happens is they'll like delete them. I don't know what's happening on YouTube. I know that they like to censor free speech, and if you say some naughty words, like some really bad racist slurs or something in your comments, they get deleted. Um, or like the R word or something. But. Maybe like the system's glitching out to now it's deleting now it's deleting like comments random. One little piggy. Let's just get this guy. Alright. If I 
I was you, I'd check to see if these coppers got Ivy on the wire. Oh, English, Just get to the computer and find Ivy. Steve Cash 83. No, I don't know him. Uh, do I prefer Dick Grayson or Jason Todd? Dead in the bat fleck, whatever. Um, definitely Jason Todd. There is an alternate universe comic out there where Dick Grayson is killed instead of Jason Todd, I think. And Batman actually kills in that universe in like a comic book. So it's not like Zack Snyder made the idea originally. But again, like I said earlier in the stream, I don't. I don't mind it actually. I obviously I don't prefer if Batman kills, but that is a good explanation of why he kills. It's just they should have said that in the movie. It should not be like an extra fun fact. They should have explained that in the movie. That should have been like a flashback where you actually see Robin get killed. You know, see Dick Grayson Robin, his first son. That would have made sense. Instead, we got what we got. I feel like I would. There's some prob. It's that movie is like a. It has some problems. Oh, that was so close. Oh! Yeah, well, there was a question earlier. It was like, I hope that, yeah, there's something about the like, Arkham Combat. I don't know what they could do to change it the next game, though, if they keep the combat. There's only so much you can do. Maybe add some new enemy types, add some new enemy moves. You know, like this game had people charging at you, and this game had people grabbing you. But I really don't know what else you can do. This game already has a lot of moves, like the different takedowns and the different gadgets for the takedown. Like, I really don't know what else they can do. Besides, you know, I just added a few new things, like Arkham City and Arkham... Like, the, the combat is... I'm not gonna... I know I'm gonna anger some people, but it really hasn't changed that much since Asylum. Yes, it adds a ton of new moves, but like, it's the same base punch-punch counter, you know? Like, Arkham City to Arkham Origins definitely didn't change a lot, and Arkham, like, City to Arkham Knight, it, added, it just added some new ways to use the gadget, and that was it, just some new enemy types. Uh, who's your favorite celebrity or rapper? I don't like rappers. Uh, my favorite celebrity, Mark Hamill. Love him as the Joker, and I love him on Twitter. He short himself. What? Uh, Superman... Batman sucked. Toby's the best Spider-Man? I agree. I love Toby Maguire's Spider-Man movies. I think Tom Holland's good, and I love him as Spider-Man, but I really don't think he has the best Spider-Man movies. A million dollars, and we'll say you work for me. I'm spoken for. Yeah, buy a bleeding corpse. Doesn't change a thing. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'll go play. What, 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 do you want, what do you want me to play after this? I can tell people don't like Harley Quinn. I'm losing a lot of viewers. Steve Cash on himself. I don't. That name sounds familiar. Really? Do you think that Robert Pattinson? Uh, do you think that Robert Pattinson will use voice changer? Um, uh, I really don't know. Probably not, because it looks like he uses a lot, like limited technology, like the Batmobile. Looks like a very crude version of like just a souped-up muscle car, and his bat suit looks very crude. So maybe like not i can tell he's gonna try to be more you know rustic and raw so i uh, probably for the turn of the movie i'll say he'll either just not change his voice at all maybe he'll make it slightly deeper or maybe he'll go like bail batman i don't know hey, what to be honest anyway. i like i prefer batman changing his voice i just like it more realistic it makes no sense for him to not change his voice but I don't like voice changers. It, like, it took me a while to get used to Telltale Batman. Like, the some of the deep voices. I don't, I don't know. Like, uh, the Ben Affleck's Batman voice changer, I kind of liked. I'm not going to lie, that was good. But some of the voice changers that we've seen heard Batman use are just kind of weird. Has to be a, 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 a Red Hood. I want a Red Hood game. Yes. See, that's the sad thing. I love these little messages with the crazy That's vision. What I meant, Harley. That's what I meant. This is kind of cool. You have the, the new gameplay mechanic, I guess.
Oh, there's two people. Oh, that's it? Oh, okay. Red Hood game, that's the thing. CWB's not gonna pat, you know AT&T likes to cancel a lot of games the second they think it's not gonna sell. Damian Wayne game, when that got leaked, people were slightly upset because they're like, oh man, no one likes Damian Wayne, even though I'm sure WB Games Montreal would have made him a lot more mature and less annoying. They're like, oh, people don't like Damian Wayne, and they canceled it instantly. All the, you know, it's people cancel thing, and it just, I don't know. And th So they're not gonna make a Red Hood game. I can't see that happening, I, I don't think. Because, you know, they like making Batman games like these big money makers. They're not, if you heard, there was a new news article a few weeks ago. Like someone had a source inside WB that said they're not going to make a Superman game because they don't think it'll sell well because there haven't been enough Superman movies lately. Which is like, what? They're not even going to make a Superman game because they don't think it's going to sell well. If they're not going to make a Superman game, then there's no way they're going to make like, you know, obscure, like Red Hood. A game, because the general aud audience doesn't know Red Hood. Love what you've done with the place. Harley, come to free me again. Another hot take. I also don't like Poison Ivy's outfit in these games. To uh, to you fan servicey. Oh, I prefer like when she like you know she's covered in plants. I the red jacket just looks weird. I'm like, why is she even wearing a jacket? It makes no sense. I prefer like when you know she's just wearing plants. Uh, did you get the twenty-four? Yes, I have three, four times. It's. I really wish we could use it more than I. I wish we, like we can play New Game Plus multiple times or something. Oh, what? His stun sticks. Yo, they did my boy Nightman dirty in this game, making Harley beat him. What do you guys want me to play after this? Uh, Batgirl? Oh my, what other deal? Robin? What other DLC is there? Catwoman? Catwoman's funny, I like the thug dialogue in that one. Yeah, they don't, they don't understand experiments. This is the thing though, but it's like, if, if the game industry thought like that, then we wouldn't have so many good games, you know? Like, God of War, it's one of the best-selling game series, and it's absolutely amazing. Best-selling PlayStation games right now. That game would have probably never been greenlit. Like, back in 2005, with the first God of War, they would have been like, <laughs> if WB owned it, they would have been like, you want to make a game based on some weird Greek mythology? No one likes that. Would, like, the game industry, we would never have any new IPs if that was the way it was ran. We would never have any, like I said, we would never have new IPs. New, I, they would all be like, just, you know, Batman and Superman. Freaking, like, so many superhero games, so many overdone games. Yeah, WB doesn't understand experimentation. Like, with Marvel, they have Miles Morales. Miles Morales has only been a character for ten, not even ten years. They already have, he already has his own game. Red Hood, Nightwing, never get their own, they're not gonna get their own game for a while. I'd be, I'd love to be proven wrong. That's just, I'm trying to play it safe. Oh, that's right, you can still punch people when they're down on the ground in this game. Need some help? What should I play now? Yep, I would love a Nightwing game, but I doubt it. I would love that. It'd be amazing. Let's see how I sound.
Sorry, I was listening to the stream. I wanted to uh, see how I sounded. Uh, I wanna. Let's, let's look at the chat. Toby doesn't understand. I want factions in the new game. Oh, uh, this is the game idea. What should I play now? Tell me. This is Batgirl. Okay. Uh, okay. You know, what? let's play Catwoman. Someone said because it's short. And then maybe. How long have we been streaming for? Uh, an hour and thirty minutes. <laughs> Uh, I mean, if you guys want me to like start the Batgirl DLC, I guess I um, would Catwoman, Red Hood. Yeah, I already played Red Hood. Oh, uh, Catwoman's like. We'll play Robin. Uh, oh. Okay, we're gonna go to a separate account to play Catwoman. Um, because the final fight in that DLC, I don't know why, but with the electrified floor. That is so hard for me to do. It'll take me like that, that takes forever for me to do. So I'll I'll do it. You gotta go. All right, man. Thanks for joining the stream, Jeff. I haven't played any on this. Okay, so I'll play out. So on the off chance like I actually can't do it, or it takes me like you know four or five tries, I'm just I'm just gonna do it on this profile just in case I can't do it because I don't want it to be stuck at like 90%. You know. You want a factions game? Yes, I've had this idea since I was like nine. Wouldn't it be cool if there was like a Telltale game for Arkham City, where you play as a thug and you decide which gang to join at the beginning, and you're like, you know, Two Face, uh, Penguin, Joke. That'd be cool. I might. And then you play through the events of Arkham City, like the night it happens, and you play through like, you know, so unless Batman coming in and taking out Two Face if you join Two Face. That'd be cool. I've always wanted to play as like a thug in the Arkham games. Key cards on the goons. Of course. Eddie's in prison and he's still wasting my time. Bad guys have new what? Yes. I well, they all have listen. like freaking AK-47s for uh, fully automatic guns, which always like confuse me. Like no one does no one have a pistol in these games? They all have like shotguns and like AK-47s. I love this dialogue. We're getting paid. God bless that Nigma and his electronic accountants. One down. Look how that worked out. Nigma gets out of jail. I think this pack of atomistic. I'm sorry, I'm not talking, but this is so funny. Sorry if you guys can't hear it over my loud PlayStation 4 fan. Again, this DLC is like kind of a ripoff. Besides, you know, this is probably the thug dialogue is honestly probably worth two dollars for me. But besides that, it's just like a copy of the mission from Ar Arkham City. I love the little detail of her glasses being on when you go on Tech Division. Wish they were always on though, because that'd look cool in my opinion. If her glasses were like always on. Come on, come on. In Please one setting please. yesterday. Why good man. I beat um keys? surprisingly, I've only beat Batman Arkham City in one set setting uh, sitting oh, once. That was a, f a few weeks ago. I just wondered if I could do it and I did. I beat Arkham Asylum in one setting uh a while ago. That's that's good. Great. It's kind of hard Better to do. But of course, you know, if you don't die you can do it in three or four hours. Like Arkham City with all the count wound missions. I played it on hard, no upgrades in one sitting just to see if I could do it. It took me like four hours almost. But you know, it takes a while, but eh. That man's gone. Who's after us? Wanna uh, Batman game or a weekend play as Joker, Two Face, and Penguin? Uh, yes. I want to play as Mr. Freeze. I want to play as villains in Batman games. That, that's like, that was never expanded upon. Hopefully in Gotham Knights we can. Because that would be absolutely amazing. 
we've got to play as Joker before and PlayStation fans for PlayStation 3. And everyone else, everyone finally got to play it a few years ago when Return to Arkham came out. We got to play as Harley Quinn in this one and Deathstroke and Arkham Origins. I didn't though because I didn't pay five dollars. But like, I want to play as Vaughn's in the next one. Like, is it really that hard just to copy and paste? Like, they have some of them have similar gadgets to Batman, like Deathstroke. Is it really that hard to make a new character? Like, charge five dollars, and I'm sure they will in the next game because again, they're gonna want to do a lot of DLC to make up for all the debt they're in. So I'm sure we will get a lot of content. So I guess that's the bright side. Always look on the bright side. I don't mind paying a lot of money for this stuff because now I guess I'm a content creator. I kind of have to. Anyway, it's fun. So I don't have a smoke pellet. That's right. Oh my god, they're all huddled together. This would be amazing if I had like fear and multi take down. What the? They're not looking up still. Oh, they are still looking up. I don't know how they didn't see me. I'll get you. Oh, I could have just slid it slid under that. Uh, should I play Robin after this or Batgirl? What do you guys think? Or should I just play some challenge maps? Someone said they wanted a Spider-Man game a while ago, like a Spider-Man Telltale game. That sounds interesting. All heroes deserve a Telltale game. We are robbed as comic book fans. Like, there really should be more comic book games, you know? There weren't any real good uh, comic book games until Batman Arkham Asylum. Rock City really changed the uh, the market. I mean, we had Spider-Man 2 for the PlayStation 2. We had Ultimate Spider-Man. And we had the original N64 Spider-Man games. And uh, the first Spider-Man movie tie-in game. Challenge maps, Batgirl. Oh no. One person says challenge maps, one person says Batgirl. What should I do? Don't turn around. Don't let her get away! Ooh! I think I like how ridiculous it is to have like man sized grates and vents in these games. Like, some of these vents are weird. Like, there's just like that empty vent, like right there. Like, just that just straight up goes to the other side of the room for no reason. Like, what's the point of that? Something down there. Must be seen. Everything's so sexual with the cavalry. No, Arkham Knight definitely improved a lot with Arkham games. Like a small, a lot of small quality of life changes were made. Like you know, like for example, now you can see where the vent ends. It's highlighted in like blue markings. So I can only imagine, uh, since I can only imagine how uh, many changes Gotham Knight's gonna have. How about challenge maps as Batgirl? That is good suggestion because I never play as Batgirl. Oh, whatever. I only play as Batgirl like the Batgirl DLC. I don't think she even has like any challenge maps where like you automatically play as her. So I don't think I've ever like really sat down. Question is, should I do it on like my main account or should I do it like on this account? Because again, no CD. If I if I play like one is Batgirl, then I gotta play all of them as Batgirl. So. I mean, sorry, so many different people. Tell me different things. Any questions? Want to do a Q and A? Hold on. Sorry, I had to fix my uh my MLG gaming headset. I'm so poor, so cheap. The the tip of the mic's kind of broken. It keeps coming off, and the wires are like exposed. I have to put it back occasionally. A face reveal. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do a face reveal. 
Yeah, same. I haven't done Origins or Arkham City, and I'm say the reason I haven't platinumed Arkham City, <sighs> okay. even though that is my favorite, care. I mean the yeah, Return to Arkham version, the reason I haven't uh, platinum returned to Arkham City is because I'm saving it for the 10 year anniversary of Arkham City. I did the same thing for Arkham Asylum, but that was back before I had a YouTube channel, so I didn't live stream it, but this time I'm probably going to live stream on the 10 year anniversary, which is sometime next year, I think maybe October, maybe, I think it came out. I think. Oh, let's see. Switches and symbols, of course. Oh, I forget Why which ones. A lock? I can pick locks. Oh, I'm just gonna. Yes. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna walk around the room for looking for clues. And then I think Set. it's this one. Oh. Oh, that's not it. Hmm. There's got to be some clue around here about which order I need to hit these switches. Oh. All right, I got it. I'm missing. These I don't bother probably represent uh, something more than any wasting yet games. more of my yep. time. A platform, uh, if you have Wait, hold on. All right, if you had to sell your soul for one game to be made, what would it be and why? Probably not. <laughs> A game's not worth do. selling my soul, but I, I know what you mean. Um I don't know, Nightwing game, I guess. Maybe for the next game, whatever W Games Montreal is working on to be out, because we know that's not never going to happen at this rate. I'm joking. I got to be positive. I'm the positive light in this community. Computer! Computer! Is I your master? Can I do a Let's Play on Spider Man PS4? Uh, I might do like a live stream one day, but probably not a Let's Play series, just because, you know, a, a lot of people probably don't want that. I'm a Batman channel guy. Whenever I do like a Spider-Man video, which I probably will in the next week, I'll upload one. It, it, it'll barely get a couple hundred views. Hey Eddie. Aren't you in prison? How many fans PlayStation 4 have? PlayStation 4 has sold over 10 million units. Uh, if that's what you're asking. I love that line. Calm down, Eddie. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to steal all your money and destroy every. You built here, okay? No! I don't approve of that defense strategy, good sir. Uh, Xbox? I don't think Xbox... Xbox has kind of lost its console generation. By the way, console wars are stupid. You know, it's the games you buy. It doesn't matter. I personally go with the PlayStation because I like the exclusives. But if you go with Xbox, that's fine. But Xbox had a really bad, uh, like presentation for Xbox One, you know, 2013, they kind of lost. Xbox uh, has not even revealed how many units they've sold, but it's estimated by fans to be about, I think it was like 45 million, and PlayStation has sold um, 100 and like 10 million, so yeah. PlayStation, um, PlayStation's uh, community is pretty active, if that's what you mean. I don't know what that question meant. Are you dead? No. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh my god, I'm an idiot. Thank you. Yes, PlayStation is freaking loud. As I said before, I really hope the PlayStation 5... Like, how loud is it? Tell me how bad it is, guys. Like, is it so hard to where you can barely hear me? Uh, the same. I mean, why? That's an outrageous bail price. Yeah, the, the the fan on the PlayStation 4 is so freaking loud, man. It's it, it, oh my god. But the PlayStation 5, it's been speculated by fans actually that the um computer, computer. You better be recording for posterity. That it, it, it just the design of it looks like it was made for cooling, and there's also there's a fascinating YouTube video I watched yesterday. This guy was talking about like all the new innovations with cooling technology in the last few years. And PlayStation had said themselves that they are looking into cooling this time around because they know how big of an issue it is for PlayStation 4. But yeah, this like keep in mind, this isn't like poor management of my PlayStation 4. Like I just cleaned it like two months ago and it still sounds like this. Like it's just it's just always a slob man. It's a freaking jet engine taking off. I don't know if it's because like I have a lot of games installed on it, but I know I'm not the only one suffering from it. You know, you don't have to look far online to find a lot of people complaining about it, so. 
Hopefully, hopefully with PlayStation 5, which I will probably get just for Miles Morales, so I might get it like this December, maybe, if I can uh, have enough money. I, I, it's hard to find a job right now because of you know, the pandemic, but hopefully I can get monetized in between now and then, maybe make like 100 bucks or so. Because right now, I'm a little short on money, but, you know, it ain't that bad. Um, Alright, bye Jeff. Thanks for cool What is uh back golden bear? I'm sorry. I'm far from my TV. I'm so far away from my TV just to help the PlayStation fan. I'm usually like five feet away, but now I'm like, you know ten feet. And it's a, it's a small TV. But I bought it for fifty bucks, so I ain't complaining. Uh, from a family member. Want to get rid of it? I was going to crack me down after I broke out of you. That is for saving me the trouble. Uh, what's up? Almost 200 chat messages. Nice, bro. This stream is popping. Uh, big stream I've ever held. I've only done two live streams on this channel, but my PlayStation like reveal live stream uh, had like five viewers or two. So this is a good stream. <laughs> You can hear that, uh, that EC fan? Yeah. Yeah, the fan, the fan's, uh, terrible. Absolutely terrible. I really hope it's fixed for the next PlayStation 5. Yeah, this, I can never do, I always, always die at this part as Catwoman. So hopefully you guys won't have to see me die a million times. But it's about to get really hard. Ow. Bro, why did the girls always moan in these games when they're hit? <laughs> I swear to god, everything's just sexualized. We're gonna call me a simp. You know, it just genuinely makes me uncomfortable. Sorry I'm not talking a lot, but like, I'm really focusing on this. You guys asked for this. Oh my god. Oh. No, stop. Go back. Uh, I love the Riddler in these games. Yeah. Um, gee, I'm glad you do. A lot of people don't. Revenge is a dish best served by an expert. Consummate in its ideal preparation methods, my dear. I'm almost going for like two hours now. I can't believe I've... <laughs> I really, I really did not plan to go for more than 30 minutes to an hour, honestly. Yeah, I'm a simp. Ugh. How dare I not want them, uh... Oh, I won't say that. No, never mind. I just genuinely get uncomfortable. Wait, what? Why is... He's electrified? What? When my robots defeat you, make sure to crawl out of my lovely... If you guys want me to stop playing this Catwoman DLC, please feel free to tell me this is torture for me. <laughs> you don't have to. I mean, it's kind of fun. I just want to interact with you guys. Hopefully I'll, hopefully I'll get it this time. I doubt it, though. No, I was playing Joker's Funhouse as Robin earlier, and oh my god, that is the most difficult map to play as on Robin in Arkham City. Maybe I should not try, maybe I should just go into like, free flow. God, this is so hard when the floor gets electrified all around. I was going to crack you down after I broke out of here. Now he why are these robots getting electrified, bro? And the lasers and the floor man. It's so so much going on, on the screen at once. Ah Please don't do it. I'm a virgin. 
until I got I got simping. Farewell, my feline foe. To be fair though, wouldn't the simp like want that though? Because the simp is like an extra virgin, which I am. I'm a pretty hardcore virgin. But uh you can hear the HD fan. Joker's a simp. How is it? <laughs> Joker's the opposite of a simp. Hold up. Ah, oh, this is so hard. I got a notification. Okay, when he's doing a live stream, that's nice. That's probably why I'm losing, uh, losing viewers. Oh no, I got 12 now. Anyways, these 12 viewers, yeah, I got a pretty decent audience now. <laughs> Do you want me to stop playing this combo with DLC? Because I've died twice already. This is, uh, this gets pretty, uh, pretty. I thought a simp was like just a yeah, yeah I know what you mean but like I thought a simp was like a uber duper virgin that tries to act like the white knight towards woman but like what a well, I guess you're right I don't know shut up Riddler I'm gonna make a video or well, I have a video idea I don't know if I'll make it because again anything but news videos don't make a lot of views and also there's so much news going on there's so much stuff to cover so it's not going to be anytime soon if I do decide to make it but it's going to be called like why Riddler didn't work in the Orphan games and it's going to be kind of like a character analysis of why exactly it didn't work because honestly he felt like more like a clue master if you don't know who clue master is he's basically Riddler but he leaves clues and not riddles and that's what Riddler is in these games like Riddler trophies aren't riddles they're puzzles at best with some of them but a lot of them are just laying around and he's just annoying, and the payoff isn't really good. You should have way less Riddler trophies, and they should actually be like challenging, and they should make sense, and they should be fun. Why can't we just have like 25 puzzles around the city? Like, that'd actually be nice. But instead, we gotta find like, you know, 400, uh. 400 things just lying around. Rob it if you want. Yeah, I'm not. I, I can't. I'm giving up. Alright. I guess Robin, if you want. I mean, would you guys be upset if I played Robin? I think I might do that. Revenge is a dish best served by an expert. Consummate in its ideal preparation methods, my dear. And one joke DLC challenge, man. Do you want me to play like some Catwoman challenge maps or Ro okay, Robin? Uh, just tell me if you want me to play some Catwoman challenge maps or something. This, this is why I went on my other profile because I know that I always die on this part. I mean, am I alone here? Or do you guys die too, or is it just me? Am I just bad at the games? I like to think I'm good at the games. Uh, with everything I've done. Yeah, uh, I like to think I'm a little above average at these games, <laughs> in my mind, but... Harley Quinn is a female simp? Yes, she is. Question, if two simps are in a relationship, and they're both head over heels for each other, if two simps are in a relationship, is that a bad thing? Like, a simp in a normal person is obviously a bad thing, because a simp's going to annoy the normal person, but if two simps were dating, would that really be a bad thing? I don't know why it just popped in my mind. I I watched the first few seasons of the Flash show, um, but then I stopped watching like season. I didn't watch season four. I think that's when I stopped. I'm a huge Star Wars fan too. What am I doing? Oh yeah, no, Arkham episodes, not challenge maps. Oh, my voice is so sore from talking. I remember when I first recorded like my real YouTube video where I edited and I talked for like I had to talk for like two hours just recording editing make sure everything was right and um and it was just it, my voice was like sore for the next two days I remember talking to my friends at school and just telling them like how sucky it was I mean it's Robin Robin two ADHD What Joker challenge map? There's no Joker challenge map. You don't play as Joker, I don't think. You mean like I'm trying to think in this game? I haven't played in a while. Being a simple is bad. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I think two simps in a relationship is kind of wholesome because then you feed into each other. 
You know, technically this is still our honeymoon, Barb. We should be on a beach. A honeymoon. Who needs a tropical island when you've got a waste disposal facility to infiltrate? I don't like that I'm Tim and Barbara are a here. couple. Sorry. She should be dating Nightwing. Alarm systems like disabled. in the comics. You're up? I'm inside. Not on the beach. Look, I'm not happy about it either. But Two-Face breaks out of jail? We can't just ignore that. It depends on how far away the beach is. We need to put him away, Tim. Yeah. For good this time. Okay. What are we looking at? Yeah, I'm not seeing much waste disposing going the on. One in our, oh yeah, the, the, the Joker's fun house. Lots that is so hard to security. do as Robin, as I've said earlier. See, right, like it's just all pointless playing these other Bat family members when they don't have any of Batman's good gadgets. No smoke bomb or anything. The one in Arkham City, yes, it is so hard to play. This is Robin Rock City knows nothing about uh, comics. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's why Paul Dini wrote the story for Arkham Asylum in Arkham City. Be careful. He really should have wrote Arkham Knight, but now. he asked for a pay raise, yeah, and <laughs> Sefton Hill was like, "LOL, no, I can write this story, scrub." Don't worry, Barb. I got this. I also don't like the way Robin looks in this game, which is why I'm wearing the skin. He looks freaking weird with the bald head. Bro, I have to get closer to the ground to Yeah, they don't really know a lot about comics. Oh. Let's just do if I can. Okay. You're working your way. Do I not have Oh I do have the okay, I do have the hacker. Keep it up. I'm just gonna <laughs> he's just gonna cheese it. They're starting to move like he did. Stop me if I start getting his moody. Am I playing on easy? I can't remember. Did I get on like my easy profile? I I'm pretty sure I am, because there's no way I can take all these balls on hard. It maybe for a subscriber special one day, tell me if you guys like would actually watch I wish I had a smoke palette, man. Should I like do Arkham City in one stream like do a playthrough of Arkham City in one stream and hard no upgrades would you guys watch that yes comment about me yes customize your own skins that is amazing that's one of the features I want in a Batman Arkham or Gotham Knights and I will make a video on that once the game is announced probably I make a video like five things I'm wanting Gotham Knights. You've taken out over half. You got this tent. Only half, bro. There's so many people in here, bro. What? Uh. Got the bolt shield. Nope. If you're multi kick down, I can hang on these two guys, so. Let's see how he likes his thermal barrack charge! Three, two, one! How close is that? Okay. I like the, the fear multi hit town in this game though. It's kind of overpowered and it takes away the stealth aspect. 
a lot of time. So I've been streaming for like two hours now. Wow. I can't believe I entertained you guys for this long. I know there's at least like, you know, two or three people on this stream that have been watching the entire time, so, uh, uh, thank you. I don't know how. Uh, where am I? I know it's somewhere up. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. Any other questions or anything you want to talk about? Let's keep the stream interesting for people, man. Where Let's is go. he? I ain't scared of you. Where? Okay, okay, I'll talk. He's in the main office, I swear. Why do you say okay, okay, I'll talk? Just talk, bro. Not bad, huh? Very scary, honey. I know you're in here, kid. Still fighting the good fight, huh? I, I love this environmental design. Well, come face me. Let's see if the boy wonder can cope with that. Do I like Mortal Kombat? Um, I'm the only Mortal Kombat game I've played. Well, I have a fun story to share after this, but the only Mortal Kombat game that I own is Mortal Kombat versus DC. So, yeah, I like it, I guess. I, as I said before, I don't enjoy fighting games as much. I played Injustice, and if Injustice 3, whenever that comes out, I will gladly stream it with you guys, and I'll gladly um, fight you guys. And that'd be fun. By the way, I think one of the reasons why Joker's Funhouse is so hard is Robin, is his moves. I can't explain it. But he's he's slow. Like it feels like moving through water. Like I feel like his animations take a little bit longer. He's not as refined as Batman. He's more blunt. Wait, so I can only hack one at a time, right? Disabled, but the other drone will be back online. Is there like a vent here that I can hold on? I have not played this game in a while. I remember thinking that there is like an easy method in this area. Isn't there like a tight rip across this? Place? Yeah, there is. The waiting. I feel like that line's in almost every Arkham game. There you go, there's the method I was thinking of. YouTubers that inspired you. That right there, Daddy Cody. Uh Deck uh Deck Kid Cody, whatever. That right there is an excellent, excellent question. That's a good question. Um YouTubers that inspired me, I mean obviously Slick Moth, Salvage, and Irogen. Um I started watching Slick Moth in sixth grade. Only yeah, six people watching. Oof, am I that um, boring, you guys? Now, <laughs> I was. What happened? What am I doing? So anyway, I was at twelve. Whatever. But uh, Slick Moff. Obviously, sixth grade. Long story short, you guys don't want to hear about that. It was a terrible, terrible year for me. A lot of family stuff. A lot of personal. Sixth grade was absolutely terrible for me. I'm in tenth grade now. Going to eleventh grade. All right, so but I'm sixteen now. But I remember when YouTube started recommending me Slick Moth videos and I found out about the Damian Wayne Batman game and I got really happy because oh my god and now I'm talking too much but the Arkham series is my favorite game series by far Wait, circles? Oh, this is different from Markham City. So then, wait, that's explosive. This is so weird. So then what's quick fire? So square is the snap flash. That's so weird. And that's battering. That's super good though. So that's the same. Oh, that's so weird. Why do they make it like that? Oh yeah, I, I completely sorry. I stopped talking because I was, but obviously, um, Slick Moth inspired me because I started watching his videos and I found out about the the Damian Wayne Batman Got game. Security and I remember like my English class kind of sucked low key because our teacher like had a heart right, surgery yeah. in October and there were like some complications. Like he didn't die, but he legit couldn't come back for the rest of the year. I know he didn't die because I saw him, but like it was weird. Anyways. 
Oh wait, no, it's like. Hey, I'm in. Chuck, you. Heads up, Birdie. You let me win on the door, didn't you? Sequels not can. Wait, what? Luke's films think about making the sequels non-canon? No, I'm a junior. Really? No, I doubt that. I highly doubt that. But I'd be really excited because, and I need to get back to Slick Moff because it's a serious discussion. But anyways, let's talk about this for a second. Um, Listen, for me personally, I don't want to sound. I don't want to sound like a whiny person that just hates the Last Jedi. But oh my god, I legitimately honest to god don't think the sequels are canon like in my mind which sounds so entitled and whiny but i legitimately am just like oh yeah i had the bullet shield forgot that existed favorite game from arkham series arkham city best game to ever exist my favorite game of all time that's why i'm an arkham youtuber i love the arkham games but slick moth really did inspire me and every video like i just loved watching it and you really uh, he made my day a lot better, you know, watching a new video every day. And then, of course, I guess I'll talk about this in a later. I'm really distracted right now. But. Come on, bro. You ain't never hit me. No, stop. I'm so distracted right now. And Salvage, of course, I started watching him, same story. And I remember really wanting to start a YouTube channel in seventh grade. I just remember like really wanting to do it, but I was like, no, no one would ever ever watch me. Like no one cares about me enough to to watch. Who who do want to watch me? No one cares about me. No, I don't. I meant to get the big guy. And I remember like talking to my friends about it one day at school. This was after I moved. Sixth grade was that bad of the year. Like I legit. We just it wasn't a good area, and I was talking to my friends at my new school, and we were talking about YouTube. I can't remember how we started talking about it, but we we're like, "Yeah, I'm gonna start a YouTube channel one day." We we're all talking about how we're gonna start a YouTube channel, and I was the only one that actually didn't believe I could ever get a big following or ever start a YouTube channel. And it's kind of ironic now that I don't think they've ever done a YouTube channel, but now I'm doing it. But I just remember we were talking about it, and we we're like we're talking about when to start one, and I said that. I would probably start one if I ever did around 10th grade because I just wanted to do it when I was more mature because obviously at the time I, if you think my voice is annoying now, which I can't really blame you, uh, you should have heard me a few years ago, man. I'm so glad I waited. But it's just funny because I finally started a YouTube channel in 10th grade. But I remember thinking that I was finally thinking that I let the dream go and I was never going to start a YouTube channel. And then I started noticing this new YouTuber called Irogen, and Irogen, Iron Gen, however you say his name, I, I don't know, but I watch his videos. I'm subscribed to all the main Arkham YouTubers, beside podcast now. And, uh, Irogen, I remember being blown away, because he got a thousand subscribers, and I just remember thinking, a thousand subscribers? Really? You know, that quickly? Like, within a year? Because in my mind, it would take, like, you know, a year or two to work up to a hundred subscribers. And I'm like, really? But you already have, you know, Slick Moth and Salvage making videos on this stuff so frequently. How on earth could he get 100 subscribers? And, or 1,000 subscribers? And then I really thought that I could do it. So I read, the and then I. Boy becomes a man. Too bad it's short lived. Bro, a pistol after all those AK 47s. Why would you jump down, bro? It wasn't brave coming here, it was stupid. You're not the bad. Never Why are you were, getting so close, never bro? Will be. Tim, get ready. Sorry, kid. You can't do this all alone. So we got all close about to execute him just to flip the coin, bro. Get sack of crap back to GCPD. We're not getting to that beach. Are we? Sequels aren't canon, in my mind there aren't. Worst game from the Arkham series? Nah, man. I, I don't think the Arkham se series has a really bad game. I try to be positive. Arkham Origins is definitely the weakest link. But, you know, I wouldn't say it's the uh, the worst from the series. You know, it, it, Arkham Origins is, yeah, probably the worst. I hesitate to say worst because it's a negative connotation. But it, this is not the worst. This is my second favorite game. Yeah, sure, story and tank battles. But the gameplay is honestly the best. It improved a lot. 
anyways, I think I might end the stream soon. Uh, do you guys? I mean, I don't know. Should I free roam in the story? Talk to me. Is the stream lagging, or is that just my Wi-Fi? Because I'm watching the stream. You want me to free roam in the story? All right. What's your theory on the ending of Arkham Knight? Uh, Bruce Wayne is dead. I, in my mind, how I see it is, he couldn't beat the Joker, so instead, what he did is he let Joker take over his mind when right before Scarecrow injected him. So that way, Scarecrow got the fear gas and. That's why Scarecrow uh, beat the Joker and not Batman. And in my mind, Bruce Wayne kind of died, and him blowing up Wayne Manor is symbolism of that. But Batman lives on. I mean, that Bruce Wayne is yes, physically alive, but the mentality of Bruce Wayne is gone, and it's just Batman now. And he destroyed Wayne Manor, he destroyed all his connections with the real world, and now he's 100% full time Batman. Bro, I've been more. I've been green lantern mod for Jedi Academy, that sounds cool. Free room. Okay, free room. I might do it in my other profile just so I can get all the Riddler trophies. I don't I can't remember how far I am with the Riddler trophies. What is your first console? PlayStation 2. Uh, PlayStation 2 Slim. I think was the my was my dad's old console and he let me have it, really. My first game was the original Spider Man two thousand two movie tie in game. I loved Spider-Man to death as a kid. He was my favorite superhero, and of course, it's funny that that was my game. And then I got Lego Batman was my second one. I loved Lego Batman. Played that game to death. I still love Lego games. I play with my little brother sometimes. I, I think I have like four Lego games on PlayStation 4. I have like, we were playing Lego DC Super Villains not too long ago, and Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. He's like nine years old. Uh, we also play on the Ravel 2. I know I have like a Star Wars and Lego Avengers. I mean, maybe I should have chose my 240% just to show off my gold bat suit. Oh, oh wait, no. It's counter. I was trying to press square. Oh, you guys are going to pay for that now. What do you think of Crash 4? I've never played a Crash Bandicoot game. Uh, looks cool. I'm playing this uh, Rocksteady thing, Batmobile skin, because obviously, 5 year anniversary. Uh, I keep lagging. Uh, are you like are you guys having problems with the stream because I looked at my stream on like my laptop and I am I'm wondering if that's like my PlayStation or if that's just my Wi-Fi trying to watch the stream Here I'll pause the stream on my laptop so that way it doesn't eat up the Wi-Fi in my house because I have crappy Wi-Fi No lag for you, okay, that's good Just my Wi-Fi then okay do you like the Sly Cooper? Never played Sly Cooper, actually. Never played Sly Cooper, never played Crash, never played Ratchet and Clank. Uh, usually, the only kid games I like played is um, the uh, the Lego games. Love Lego games. It's so weird playing Arkham Knight and being this far away from the screen. It's your donuts. Anyways, no lag. Uh, I mean, no, those games look fun, though. I mean, I might try them, but honestly, my, my plate's so full that I don't know if I'll have time. Do you want to go? You know what? Let's go to Arkham City. Let's go to Arkham City. I forget how the glitch is activated. And shout out to Slickmoff, who showed me this years ago. Again, Slickmoff, now Slickmoff inspired me. That was a good question before. And, um, upgrading the new consoles for, uh, wait, wait. You upgrading to the new console for five? Yeah, I'm probably gonna play uh, PlayStation 5 when it comes out, just because to get Miles Morales. Morales, I wasn't going to get it originally, but uh, now that that was announced, I, I know I have to get it. Let's. See, I forget how to do it. Is it on this bridge? I might be on the wrong bridge. I know it's like somewhere. I think it's like. Do you guys know how to do this? I want to see. Maybe I'm just crazy. Do 
Yes, I got it. Okay. So, no, maybe I didn't. Now I'm stuck. Anyways, let's not go to Arkham City then. Unless, I mean, I could look up a video on how to do it right now, but I don't know. Oh, I haven't done the Mr. Free side mission yet. Do you want to see me do that? Don't, let's check my side missions. What was I talking about? Yeah. No, Slick Moth inspired me and Salvage inspired me, and Iron Gen really made me think that I could do it. Uh, people before the PS5 event were like, I'm not getting the PS5 when it comes out. Yeah, and then they revealed it, and we're like, okay. I hope the digital edition is like, you know, not too expensive, because that's why I'm probably going to get it again. I don't have a lot of physical games, and I'm still going to keep my PlayStation 4, so I've already a DVD player, Blu-ray player, there it is. So. See, like, what's the point of the line launcher, honestly? Batman has way too many gadgets. Hopefully the Gotham Knights will balance the Bat family out. And what's a dream superhero game project you would like to see? I would love a Flash game. Love a Flash game. Honestly. You know. Uh, there was a Flash game that was cancelled a few years ago. I've been saying that that game should not have been cancelled for years. I have wanted a Flash game for a while. Superman game. Green Lantern game. A lot of games have potential. Any DC game really. I'm not even that big of a Flash fan. Uh, but I just, I think it'd make a cool video game concept. What was I talking about? Yes, but Irogen really made me think that I could actually do it. Irogen inspired me and made me realize that I could do it. And eventually, I remember when Salvage took off and I, when they all started, uh, started to stop uploading as much, and there was that period of time just six months ago where they just didn't upload any videos. That's when I started my YouTube channel. Uh, just a month ago, just because there was a lot of new game. There was a lot of new news uh, for the Batman game. And honestly, I, I was just getting... I was kind of depressed. Like, you know, these were my favorite YouTubers, and they weren't uploading videos anymore. And there was a lot of news, and I can tell that they were definitely getting beat down, disappointment after disappointment. But I still had hype. I don't know how I still have hype, I guess, just because maybe I'm not making videos. Maybe that makes a difference. Maybe being a fan, and maybe making videos are two different things. But I just remember being like, I could be doing this. I could be making videos. And I really didn't think I'd get more than 30 subscribers. But I really wanted to do it. Because this, when this quarantine hit, I just got so bored with my thoughts. And I really thought that I could get my commentary and thoughts out there. And I gave it a go. And now here I am. Thank you, guys. I'm streaming to eight people right now, which is big for me. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much. Those are the YouTubers that inspired me. And that's how I'm here now. And you're getting a 4K TV soon. Nice, Cody. Nice. What was I even doing? doing? Where's that going? I got disconnected because my phone died. Sorry. It's cool. It's cool, Kyle. You've been here a while in the stream. Thanks, man. A lot of people have been here for a while. Arthur, I don't think I've seen too many chats from you yet, so you must be new. Uh, I hope the digital PS5 comes out with code for it. yes. That'd be that'd be amazing. I hope it has more storage. Hope there's some sort of compromise there. It has to be at least fifty dollars cheaper. At the, the if it's less than fifty dollars cheaper, then like it, then there's no point in buying it. It has to be like fifty dollars cheaper and have some extra storage to compensate, or just be like a hundred dollars cheaper. You know. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get the uh, the physical edition probably unless I'm really broke and I just need to save just a few bucks. Uh, continuing with the conversation from EA, from, oh, oh, from earlier, I'm sorry, the screen cuts it off, uh, I hated the 6th grade, changed me so much, good level. Yeah, 6th grade was not a really good year for me, I did not go to a good school. Uh, that really sparked my love for this game, because that was, like, what I was looking forward to, because I had, like, I had no friends in 6th grade, I had, like, you know, it, it just wasn't as good school. I, it's completely changed now. At 6th grade, I thought I was just a loser, which, you know, I am I am a loser, don't get me wrong. But moving made me realize, now that I have, like, you know, a lot of friends, I'm like, wait. I think my old school just, like, really, so, like, I did not fit in well at my old school. I'm not saying that's the solution, like, oh, if you don't get along with kids at your school, you should just move. But, I mean, really, I, that was the right choice for me. I can't, I don't want to be like, oh, my life is terrible. But, like, I, I guess some of you are confused, so I guess I'll explain. Uh, I did not go to a good area. There was a lot of crime. There was um, a lot of fights in my school. Like we had a few fights every day. Um, I managed to avoid most of that. But yeah, compared to where I live now, 
uh, where I have not seen a single fight at, at where I live now in the past five years, which is insane compared to there was like multiple fights every day at my school. So there's a lot of crime. Like we got robbed one time. I got robbed. This kid stole my Gatorade one time. I remember we had gate. The gym teacher was like selling Gatorade in the gym, and I bought a couple of Gatorade. You know, one for my little brother, uh, one for me. I remember. His, I bought him a blue one, I bought me a red one. And this kid, Dalton, I remember him. Straight up, I literally, I put down the Gatorade two feet away from me, and I grabbed, like, my binder. And it was like, I saw him in the corner of my eye, and I knew who it was, because he's like four foot eight, like, he was a short kid. He just straight up ran up, grabbed my Gatorade, ran away. And I just remember being, like, so tired, I didn't even do anything, like, oh, oh whatever. So it just, but, kid just wanted to beat that, yeah. You've been robbed. Yeah, see, I don't know what, I don't know what to call, like, it wasn't, isn't robbing, like, where violence is involved? What's the call? There's, like, a difference between robbing and mugging, but whatever it is, like, I wasn't, it was not violent, and I knew who it was, and I went to confront him about it later, but honestly, I just, I just didn't have the energy. I was just tired of everything in that school. Like, that, I was... Alright, I should probably do something. So let's, uh, most underused one in the Arkham series. Uh, let's, let's look at this chat for a second. Uh, digital edition. Continue the conversation. Uh, most underused one in the Arkham series. Drama and depression, man. Yeah, drama and depression. Yeah, definitely. Smile, Kyle. I was, um, it caused some depression with me. That, I'm not gonna lie there. That, um, I don't want to get too deep into that, but, like, it was not a good year for me. Most underused villain in the Arkham series, Two Face. <laughs> Uh, probably. He was my... I just forgot. So yeah, sixth grade, man. A lot of people, like, hated middle school. I absolutely loved seventh and eighth grade. Those were the years of my life. That's just because sixth grade was so horrible when I moved. And actually talking to my friends from sixth and, or, or seventh and eighth grade now, because, you know, some of us go to the same school, they all talk about how much they hated middle school, how much they hated my school. And I'm like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. The middle school we went to was absolutely awesome man because coming from the middle school that I used to go to compared to where I move it was amazing so that's one bright side it taught me to appreciate things more yeah kids do just want to be thugs Cody I mean some kids not kids just, yeah some kids eh, that sixth grade school were just like wanna be like trying to be tough eh, it just Anyways, I am moving back to my old school. Oh, you're moving? That's good, man. That's good. See, I have no regrets moving away because I had no, like, literally not a single person there that, like, I, I enjoy talking to. Uh, that was it. So, I moving was definitely the best decision. Never fails. Middle school doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, we, we're going to try to pretend that doesn't exist. Anyways, let's try to do some Riddler trophies or something. Let's see, I got 9 on this island, 37 here, and 33 here. And it's so, I'm so far away from my screen, I can't see it. Uh, I had some good friends, yeah. I mean, friends make everything better. Oh, do you guys want me to see, see me do side missions, actually? Mr. Freeze, Rachel Ghoul. What do you guys want? Do you want me to do Riddler, Mr. Freeze, Rachel Ghoul? Or just free realm. And my current old school, I do it too. Yeah. Smile, Kyle. Five people watching. Oh, that's a new low. Yeah, this stream is not doing too hot. I gotta do something interesting. Or maybe it's just I've been streaming for too long. Dang, 240 messages. All right, Miss Freeze. Over. All right, people want me to do Mr. Freeze. Do you guys want the Batmobile in the next game? I do, or Bat Cycle or something. I want something, you know. It's nice. Because it is a long map to traverse, so this makes it a lot easier. Raz Sink, I can't pronounce your name. Dude, thank you, but you know. People have said that so many times in this stream, and like, I, no joke, no matter how many times I hear it, it really does, thank you. I don't think I deserve more, I think I deserve less, honestly, because I've gained so many within the first month, 
Mr. Freeze is a simp. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like, that got me so off guard. I was having like a serious discussion. <laughs> you got me to laugh, uh, Brith once. You <laughs> actually, that was a genuine laugh. <laughs> I have never, yes, he is a simp. <laughs> Jeez, I don't, I, I don't. That caught me so off guard. Bat pot in the game? Yes, yes. Imagine the whirly bat in the next game. <laughs> I want the whirly bat in the game. If you don't know what that is, it's a, it's a chair tied to a helicopter blade. <laughs> he be, yeah, he is a simp, bro. What's the point of like the afterburner having to cool down? Is that just because you don't want to move too fast through the city and that's because it, it the game wants the city more time to load? Or is that just like what's the point of the afterburner having to cool down? That's pretty stupid and annoying. Explore but yes, what, what do you guys want in the next game? And by the way, Raz, Raz thank you. Because that really does mean a lot. I think I deserve less followers, honestly. I've been only on YouTube for a month, I already have almost 300, which is huge for me. As like I said earlier, I thought it would take years to get a thousand. This isn't the weather, Alfred. I feared as much. As well as battling the cold, there's a sizable deployment of militia troops aboard the boat. I have a feeling they'll object to your presence. I'll win them over. So this is where I'm used to playing The Last of Us, where I can just skip through a few enemies if I I have to restart. Drone saw me. If I like, if I don't want to. Yeah, seriously. I'm used to playing The Last of Us, where if I can't uh, fight some enemies, and I'll just skip to like the area and I'll go where I need to go. But like in the Arkham games, you have to take out thugs to progress. It's a little weird for me. I want more time as Bruce Wayne. Me too. Not as much as Peter Parker in the. Uh, in the Spider-Man, I don't think Bruce Wayne would be too interesting. But like the Cold Cold Heart DLC of Batman Arkham Origins, like the first ten minutes, where you're in Wayne Manor as Bruce Wayne, those were absolutely amazing. I would not even be mad if the game's Montreal completely copied that in the next game. Not mean that. I meant to turn off the deck division center. I still can't believe Warner Bros. rejected. Yes, yeah, Superman game. Oh my god, bro. I almost made a video on that, but I knew no one would watch it. Maybe, maybe someday in the future when I have a thousand subscribers. But right now, my audience is small, and I only have a few handful of people that watch my videos because they genuinely, like, you know, have grown attached to me. So I'd only, I wouldn't get a lot of views. So when I have more subscribers, I'll share my idea. But like I had this idea for a series, and it would be like how to do a Flash game, how to make a Superman game, how to do all this stuff. So one day, one day I'll make those videos, but not not this year. Maybe next summer. Oh yeah, seriously. <laughs> I imagine the next Batman game has like a GTA strip club. <laughs> it's Bruce Wayne. <laughs> You know, I honestly don't want the next Batman game to be rated M. Because I know there are kids that play the Arkham series, and I, or whatever, Batman, and I know there are kids that are going to be disappointed. So, uh, I've been on that end before, so for, you know, oh, shh, do not know. It. I hope it's rated T for teen. But, you know, if they want to tell a more mature story, then sure, but. What I can't why can't I do the silent takedown, bro? I want to do a fear multi takedown. A Daredevil game. Yes, there was a Daredevil game in development in 2002, but it was sadly cancelled. Uh, I did not know about that until a few months ago. Yeah, but um, I watched a YouTube documentary on it. I recommend you guys go watch it. I'm sure you can find it. Just look up Daredevil game. 
and it goes all in detail like on the development of the game and it was there was a lot of issues because Sony had like a large money like Sony wanted the game to move in one direction and they like had half the rights or something Daredevil and then like Marvel games wanted it, the game to move in a different direction and ultimately it was like a kid with divorced parents you know it, um, the game was being it was like a tug of war match between Sony and Marvel they both wanted different things for the game Sorry, I'm not playing too well. I'm distracted. Wait, difficulties is on. Let me. I can't read my screen. I'm so far away. It would be under game options. Invert look. Difficulty hard. Okay, I'm on hard. Good. I wish this game had more than just three difficulties. I want to like play really hard. I want to test my skills, bro. Teenage Mutant, no. Unpopular opinion, I don't want a TMT, TMNT game. Or that's just, I don't want Rocksteady to make one at least, just because I haven't been into them since I was like a, I haven't been into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles since I was a kid, so I'm not really, it, I don't find that as appealing. I wouldn't mind a game, but I just really don't want Rocksteady to make it. I think Rocksteady's better making off you know, DC games. Any other thoughts? I'd love to talk with you guys. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, I died. Oh, I died. <laughs> Have you ever heard the tragedy of Superman over, the game? Batman. Your friends will be next. Have you ever heard the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? No? Oh, I thought not. It's not a story a Jedi would tell you. It's a Sith legend. You see, Darth Plagueis was a Sith so wise and powerful, he could convince the midichlorians to create life. The only thing he was afraid of was losing his power, which of course, eventually, he did. Unfortunately, he taught his apprentice everything he knew. <laughs> I haven't seen the movie in so long. I know I don't. I don't want to take out the drone controller. Never mind. Aquaman game would be cool. Yes, Aquaman game by Rox. Rox they can make anything cool, honestly, which is why I think people. Master Yoda, you survived. Uh, hot take. Revenge of the Sith is my favorite Star Wars movie. I know. I, my favorite Star Wars, you know, movie. Objectively, Episode Five is the best. Empire Strikes Back, amazing. But honestly, just as a fun, dumb movie, Avenger of the Sith, sure, I had terrible dialogue, but so many cool scenes, so many emotional scenes. I, uh, the As stupid as the high ground is, and again, the dialogue really ruined it. I really hate the dialogue. But just Obi-Wan crying, saying, you're my brother. First of all, the last words Obi-Wan and Anakin say to each other were, I loved you and I hate you. It was the last words they exchanged, which I think is brilliant. It rhymes. It's like poetry. <laughs> but... Dude, turn it around, bro. Yeah, it is amazing. It's amazing, honestly. It's a cool classic. It definitely is imperfect, and I think episode 5 is probably better, but I would personally rather watch... No, climb. That's a problem when you have the same button for every command in this game. Luke, I'm your father. Oh, yeah. No. I am your father. Bro, like, imagine if in episode 5, right before he cuts off Luke's hand, he's all like, um, it's over, Luke, you're cornered, and Luke's like, you underestimate my power, and then it's this feeling, like, that would be cringy. But, like, take that away, and the scene what we got is amazing. Legitimately, the high ground scene is absolute perfection, it's just the dialogue that makes it a meme. Without the dialogue, that would be perfect. Obviously, the high ground, but, like, everything past that, that you were my brother, Anakin, is perfect. Also, uh, sorry. The tips of my mic broke and I had to readjust it. Um, also, I flip the side of the Batman games, uh, Joker game, or just villain game. Really, also, flip the side of the games, Joker game. I don't know, is that a question, Arthur? Oh, message retracted, I see. On the, on the, my, uh, my Chromebook chat, so. I don't like sand, it's rough, of course, irritating. 
And it gets everywhere, exactly. I bring out the Star Wars nerd and all of us. Star Wars is amazing. Did I not hack the drone yet? Hold up. Oh, shoot. When you hack the drone, it shouldn't be able to target you. Mild complaint with this game. Hold on, let me. This is trash gameplay, but I'll get I'll get to the good stuff soon. Let, okay, I'll just try to play the game like normal. But I still can't see my screen. It's a I need difficult. to get closer. You know what? I'm gonna show you guys something cool, if I can. Hold up. Thoughts on the sequels? Terrible. Uh, I do not like them. Episode seven, I liked when I first saw it, and then later I realized it was just a copy of episode four. Episode 8, I liked when I came out of the movie theater. I thought it was amazing. And then the next morning when I woke up, I was like, what on earth was I thinking last night? Because I, then I started thinking, like, how on earth is Episode 9 going to be? They killed off Luke. I did not like what they did with Luke. They teased us with the, with the boss battle with Luke and um, with Kylo. I was so hyped for that scene. I'm like, finally, Luke's going to kick Kylo's butt. He's going to teach his nephew a less lesson. And then it turned out to just be like the stupid Force hologrammed. And then he died. And, and by the way, whatever. And then episode 9, I just didn't like when I first saw it at all. I actually laughed during the final battle, like, I'm not joking. I'm not trying to be, like, edgy or, like, cringy or, like, oh, the sequels suck, but honest to God. I legitimately was laughing in the third act of episode 9. <laughs> just palpatine screaming, ah, and shooting up lightning, and Ray having two lightsabers blocking the lightning. That's the key. It just, it was so goofy. To be honest, though, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it as a comedy, which is good. At least with Ryan Johnson, Ryan Johnson tried to break the mold and do something new with Star Wars, which I respect. He he like legitimately was trying to make a really good movie, but with J.J. Abrams in Episode Nine, I have no respect for. I legit think that's the worst Star Wars movie we have seen. All right, let's let's read this chat. Uh, thoughts on the sequel? Some dude rage quitted when he saw the battle. Uh, I was saying we should get all uh, new spectators. Oh, you were saying, yeah, I know what you mean, Arthur. That's a good idea. I would like that, but again, I don't think WB would invest money into that. Uh, and the th my thoughts in the theater? I thought Episode 7 was amazing in the theater. I thought Episode 8 was amazing in the theater. I, there was a lot of, you know, amazing scenes in that movie, but in the end, I didn't like it. And Episode 9, I was just laughing. So, I guess, in a way... I actually enjoyed all of them in the theater. I should. In the way, I in the way I had a really fun time every time I saw them. Because even though I hated episode nine, I really enjoyed it as a comedy, and I really enjoyed episode seven and eight. Just not later. I thought they were. And later, I thought they were terrible. I'm sorry. How trash is my gameplay on a scale of one to ten? Ten being the most trash. Ten being like trash. Is my dang it? I took out the guy. Oh no, he's still. I want to show you guys something cool in a second. Disney philosophy Ray is powerful because she she's <laughs> yeah. See, I yeah, pretty much. I like to have faith. I really hope that. All right, hold on. People try to defend it like, oh, Luke was powerful. Yeah, but Luke had the explanation. Uh, of course, Ray had the explanation. Oh, she's probably. I, I'm not going to talk about it. It's not canon. I'm talking about seven and eight because I obviously didn't have a plan. It didn't have an explanation. She didn't really have any character development. Like, Luke was not all powerful. Luke struggled, and Luke had to be guided by Obi Wan, and Luke was irrational. He saw character development from five and six, and then he struggled with the dark side. Ray, it just felt forced and, like, not even. What if this isn't a Star Wars channel? You guys came for Batman. Let's talk Batman. Uh, anyone want to talk a little bit about Batman? Uh, have you watched Christopher Nolan the movie that's not about it? No, I have not. <laughs> I have not watched. I don't. Oh no, I have. I have. I've seen a few. Actually, no. I, yeah. Oh yeah. What am I talking? Yeah, I've seen Christopher Nolan movies. My favorite's Interstellar, just because I love sci-fi. Oh my God. 
Wait, can we just appreciate how much of a beast Batman is? Look at all these freaking bodies, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. How many people have I taken out? Like 30? <laughs> oh man. Look, look, this is a cool Easter egg I found. This doesn't make any sense. It says he's right behind me. I love that. When you're right behind him. Uh, Interstellar, I, I love that movie. Controls. I am going to see Tenet, I think. Uh, maybe not in theaters, but I would like to see it eventually. Just for, you know, Robert Pattinson and Christopher Nolan. I think it's going to be amazing. Ray had zero discipline. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, if you had to choose out of Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, uh, which one would I get rid of? Asylum City, so not Origins? Ooh, bro. I think I enjoyed Arkham Knight the least when playing it for the first time. I just didn't really like what they did with the story and overuse of the tank battles. But I mean, it has way more content, and coming back to it's amazing. So I guess Asylum, even though I feel like Asylum, it, it feels weird saying Asylum, because Asylum deserves more respect, but I guess if I had to choose, it's the least polished out of the city. You know, just, it just, gameplay wise, it doesn't have much content, so logically that'd be the best choice. Definitely not City. If I had to keep one, it'd be City. Easy choice. I'll play that game on end millions of times. Luke was pure in episode 4. Yep. Can't wait for China. Yeah, me neither, man. It's going to be exciting. I don't know if I'll see it in theaters because of Corona, but... It's definitely, uh... Definitely going to have a fun time. Oh, my voice is so sore from talking. And people are still watching this stream. Which is amazing to me. I actually cannot believe people are watching this stream. I could like record another video. It's nighttime right now. It's like a, a one a, one a.m. almost for me right now, which is usually when I start. I record my video for tomorrow. No, I've never watched Law and Order. I have never. I don't watch a lot of TV either. I, I just don't watch. I watch Rick and Morty. I watch some South Park. Boondocks. Really, Kyle? I? Nice. I. Very profound. <laughs> simp. Victor. What a simp, bro. Bro, he crusty. Hey. Simp, bro, what a simp. If you trust them, Victor. Bros before hose. Warning. Cryo generator unstable. Someone needs to overdub the scene with like simp dialogue. That'd be funny. Yeah, that's gonna be my three hundred sub special. <laughs> Wait, actually. Now that'd be cringe. Control. Love how we're memeing on Mr. Free. Yeah, he's the most tragic Batman villain I'm memeing on. Okay, you guys tell me right now. Like, is this... Okay. If it's really cringe, then I might not upload it, or I might delete it if people tell me afterwards. I just got this idea. Okay, this is... No, nah, it's probably going to be cringe. What if, if, for my 300 subscribers special... I up I uploaded that scene, but I overdubbed. Now nah, that'd be really, that'd be too cringe with my voice. But I overdubbed the dialogue. It, nah, I don't know. Is Batman calling him out for being a simp and being like, "Nah, you're right," and then he puts the gun. I don't. I'd be too. I'd be too cringe. Yeah, <laughs> simp. What if I did it with like a computer voice? What, what do you guys think? Do you think, okay, do you think, if, if, okay, first of all, if you've been here on my channel long enough, then that's amazing, but if you are here a month ago, my th my 30 subscriber special was that with the Dark Knight. My 30 subscriber special was like, it was when I had an English project due tomorrow, but there begins Montreal updated their website, and I had to choose between doing my English project, which I hadn't started, or we're doing a YouTube video, so I, I made a, I made a little skit video about that later. 
and it was like a Dark Knight scene where like Batman comes back, and they're like eight years, and he picked what whatever. I don't know. Like, do you guys would you like it, it? Would you prefer it if I did it in my voice or like one of those computer text to speech voices? Uh, in the tapes. Yeah, you're right. Oh yeah, I'll, those tapes. That was creepy. Where like he goes to her house, bro. Simp. Would you? What would you guys prefer? Like my voice or text to speech voice in that scene if if I was going to do it and then you know just tell me if I should do it or if I should not would that be cringe text to speech all right any objections or am I just going to do text to speech ooh All right, these are like the one percent of my followers. If you guys care enough about me to be this long into the stream, then you then you obviously don't mind my voice the least. And if a, yeah, two of you are saying text to speech, then I'll do text to speech then. Okay, would that be cringe or no? Like, should I do that? Vice that can lead me to Nora. It is transmitting a location. Be careful, sir. I imagine the militia will be rather intent on keeping her prisoner. I mean, should I upload that for my 300 subscriber special? I don't know what to do. I guess I'll think of one. Okay, I'll bring back the simp meme. Fun fact, I actually, um... I'll upload it. Well, if, I, if I'm not too lazy and if it... If it comes out too cringe, then I probably won't. Alright, man, I'll do it. It's gonna be really cringe, though, but if you guys want it, I'll put a disclaimer at the beginning about how cringe it is. I might not do it. I might not. I might, I'll start. I'll edit it for sure. But if I decide halfway through, then I'll just wait in it. 300 messages. You guys are amazing. Think tax deductible or something? Fun fact, actually, I made a Tobey Maguire simp compilation, but that was when I used, like, a, uh, it, it was the video, and that was when I was still discovering what editor to use for a YouTube video, and that was back in, like, March before I started my YouTube channel. That was back, before, oh, that was before Kona hit, I think. No, I don't know, but I made a Tobey Maguire simp compilation from the Spider-Man series, and I, like, my... All my, my laptop like crashed and like all my clips got deleted and I spent like 20 plus hours on that getting all the clips together and it just didn't work so that might be a subscriber special in the future I might remake that video uh, so yeah that'd be interesting thoughts of Michael yeah I did a video on Michael Keaton returning I absolutely love it I think it's a great idea and I hope it happens I already answered that once once in the stream too yeah Oh, oh yeah, someone asked earlier my thoughts on Miles Morales. Um, I already answered that once in the stream too. I will upload a video on that. I've already recorded a 10-minute video, and the off chance it doesn't get uploaded soon, then um, I'll tell you right now. I love it. <laughs> but I uploaded a 10-minute video going over why I love it. So get ready for that soon. Dude, this is so annoying. There you go. Pete Ross is kind of so overpowered in this game, honestly. Uh, what community would you like to get rated in? In a positive way. The signal led um, here, but no sign of Nora's cryo chamber. Oh, well, you mean like, you mean like what community would I like their comments to be flooded with love and support? Um, I don't know. Mine. <laughs> uh, I can't think of any really underrated community on YouTube. Of course, Salvage, Slickmoth, Irogen, my uh, my uh, 
inspirations, maybe I or Jenny as the subscribers, but you mean like what community would like to get ready? Like I want their comments to be flooded with haters and I want them to lose subscribers. Probably podcast now if I had to pick. Just yeah, I don't I don't like the guy. Miles of Morales is Arkham Origins, copy and paste. Yep. It's gonna be like Arkham Origins, but with a lot less glitches. I trust Sony. I trust um Brian Hunter or whatever the guy's name is. I trust them. I trust Insomniac. They're gonna make a good Arkham Origins, essentially. One thing that was bad Where is she? Or either in, bad or annoying Where? in the Spider Man PS4 Where? game. They took her to a rooftop in Otisburg. That's all I know, I swear. Victor, they found the tracking device, but I know where she is. No. Simp. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'll, I'll upload that video probably. It'll be like five minutes long, three minutes long, whatever. One thing that was bad or annoying in the Spider-Man game. Um, I guess. You played as Peter Parker too much, and it, was, it did get kind of annoying replaying the game. The first time it was amazing, but replaying it, it really doesn't get repetitive being Peter. Um, oh, you know what? No. Uh, more action. Yeah, the, uh, same thing. Too much Peter, we need more Spider-Man. But the Sinister Six was so underused. Like, the last two hours of the game, they come out. And then, you don't even fight. They should all have their own boss battle. So, hopefully next game, just more superhero stuff. That's it. That's, that's one of the major complaints I have. Also, I felt the combat. I, I don't know why I keep pausing the game. It's just hard to talk and stream at the same time. But I'm getting near her location. Have you stabilized the cryo generator? I think so. Can you see her? Victor, is it safe? Yes. Yes, of course. Contact me as soon as you find her. Amazing Spider-Man 2 sucked. Never played it. I rented the first Amazing Spider-Man game. I uh, didn't buy it. I rented it, and then I never bought the sequel. Sequel. Uh, but I, I used to love Spider-Man games, so that says a lot. But when I don't buy a Spider-Man game, oh man, you know you messed up Activision. So I really hope Activision just doesn't get Batman. So I guess maybe EA, because at least EA will make a good game. They just flood it with microtransactions and lack of content. They make like a good base game. I mean, they ru they have ruined some stuff, so. There's Nora's cryo chamber. Clown. Time to deal with the militia. <laughs> you know, the clowns. I love jokes. Such a good movie. Yes, there's no way he saw that. <laughs> Bro, how are you guys still watching me? I want to, like, I don't want to end the stream, but it's like, jeez. I don't want to. I want to end the stream like within the next hour, probably. Well, not really. It's just I know that I've, I've probably been streaming like an unhealthy amount. Oh, no, 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 the smoke pellet. This is probably where I would restart. I'm on a stream, I gotta entertain you guys, so let's not restart. Let's play this out on hard difficulty. Don't climb up. Nah, it's just, let's punch our way through this. Oh. 1966. If we get like a Batman game every year, you're not a hero to me, Dark Knight. If we were getting Batman games pumped out a lot, then I would actually not ironically want that. Sure. 1966. Uh, 1966. <laughs> no, Batman 1966. Yes, uh, I would love that. I would love a game if we got a Batman game consistently, like every six months. Then yeah, sure, I'd try it out. I want a Batman game based on the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight Batman game was being made, but it was cancelled and replaced with Arkham Asylum. Same thing with Gotham by Gaslight. There was a while where DC didn't know what to do with Batman games until Rock City came along. But now they don't know what to do again since Rock City left. Really, Rock City's made the only really good Batman games. They made the best. Isn't it rich? Aren't we a pair? I love Frank Sinatra. Ever since I saw Joker. There's Nora's cryo chamber. Time to deal with the militia. 
what if the Amazing Spider-Man 3 was made? I, I would not be made good, unless it was Mark Webb. With Mark Webb's vision, sure, but Sony would have ruined it. Sony ruined Spider-Man. Movie Sony. Obviously not game Sony. Sony makes the best games, but movies, um, <laughs> they, uh, they try to shove way too much. Have you heard of the leaked plot from Amazing Spider-Man 3? We know what the original script was going to look like, like a rough outline. It was going to be terrible. They were going to shove, like, I think Norman Osborn would have come back. And, like, Peter's dad would have came back. And, like, Gwen could have came back. They were going to bring people back from the dead. It was going to be, like, this weird plot. It was it was weird. And they were going to have so many... It was too much of one movie. It was going to be worse than Amazing Spider-Man 2, which I actually liked. The Amazing Spider-Man 2, the movie, I don't think it was... Jesus. <sighs> Two minutes ago. Well, sorry for that, guys. I'll, I'll, I'll do it this time. Disney. Yeah, they should make a Wolverine game. No, they they, uh, they made some really good uh, Wolverine games for um, uh, PlayStation 3. There were some good ones. I never played one, but I've seen some. Uh, they should. Uh, they're going to make a Venom 2. Yeah, Venom. Uh, <laughs> they're gonna. Yeah, Venom. Amazing Spider-Man 3 would have been a mess. I'm so glad it was canceled. And I like the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Honestly. There's Nora's cryo chamber. Time to deal with the militia. Dang, I still have eight. How on earth do I have eight people watching after three hours of streaming? Jeez, bro. How on earth am I entertaining you guys this much? Jesus. Look out, it's Batman. Bro, again. Alright, no. We're gonna play this out. We're gonna do this. This is like almost my third time restarting this. I'm not. You guys deserve better than that. We're gonna do this. Who needs stealth? You know what's. Wait, no, hold up. Can I do a fear multi? Wait, let's get the Batmobile here. Let's see. Hold up, hold up. Let's do it. No, I started this, I thought it was going to be like a half an hour stream, and then I got like 20 people watching, and there's still 8 people. How on earth am I entertaining you guys this long? and I evaded over him. I'm not lying. I never knew I could do that. Can I do that in another argument? I never, I've never tried that before. There's no point to ever trying that. Let's look at the chat for a second here. They should make a Wolverine game. Yes, or M2. I love that. Yeah, Origins. Uh, do you remember the end of Arkham Knight where we had to defend the GCPD and it was like 240 tanks? See, that should have been like one of the, the tank battles were so overused. Here's how you fix. Obviously, the plot needs to be fixed, but this game would be perfect if it did not rely on the Arkham Knight and had a better plot twist and the tank battles. No, the stupid, um, the bomb side missions should not have been used. All the repetitive watchtower, road, like all those stupid side missions, but the bomb side missions where you do the tank battles over, over and over again, too many times. 
and the tank panels in the main storage should have been cut down by half. And the GC, the G, uh, CPD should have been like the first time in the game where you really go up against not that that many tanks. It should not have been yet another tank battle. And this game would have been perfect. Batman World of Tanks. Hey, that's true, man. Am I am I that late? What time is it in the EU right now? Am I that late? <laughs> Got you. I'm gonna let this cutscene play out. Danger. I Hold need on. to investigate the cryo chamber. This... Oh, Mr. Freeds is a simp. I agree. I'm gonna let this cutscene play out. Or something. <laughs> I am, yes, I am most definitely going to watch DC fandom. Uh, that means some. <laughs> yeah. Nori kind of bad that. Oh, Bro. Don't be afraid. Brit's horny on main again. Victor. As soon as you're back, I'll freeze you again. Simp. <laughs> That's how I know I'm streaming late. I'm getting more people again. It means um, Europe's awake right now watching my stream. Don't you see? I don't want saving. Victor, the generator. Simp. Victor. I guess I'm Please. a simp. Hurry. I will. Ah. Uh, that beautiful rock sorry about mobile thing skin. Ah, oh, bro. Oh, this part. I'm so far away from the screen, I can't see. It's gonna make it even more hard. coming. I suck at Batmobile races. I gotta be honest. Turn to the dark side. <laughs> I'm not a simp. Oh. Bro, I should I should not. I should have known when I started when I kept making the same jokes. Now it's gonna be running gap. Every time I stream from now on for the next five years, Bibbert's gonna be making simp jokes. I should have known better. Uh dead memes. Dead memes if you're watching, bro, you're gonna beat that to death. Do I have to get the road trophies to get the 140% shoot? Uh, to yes, you do. You have to get all the road trophies. 
the worst thing about it is it's only like 3% of the game. But here's the bright side. You only have to get them once. On New Game Plus, you don't have to get them again. But, you know, but yeah. And it's better, it's easier than it is in Arkham City. I've heard people say Arkham Knight's easier to collect for trophies than Arkham City. And yes, there are less. But for me personally, I think Arkham City's easier. That's just because I have almost everyone memorized. I need time to fix my equipment. It's the only way I can save her. How am I entertaining this week? I mean, I want to. You guys want me to stop streaming? If I want me to stop streaming, I mean, I'll stop streaming. Yeah. Now that I'm playing it again, I remember how, um,. How much I really dislike the tank battles. They're just not fun. I haven't played this game in so long, so this is like a new, fresh perspective. The tank battles are pretty bad. I gotta be honest. These are just like. Master Bruce, the militia are going to keep coming. That ice won't hold. Victor, you can take them all out. Detonate the. Uh, Arthur, I haven't finished the last bus yet, but is it about as it everyone says? Uh, I'm not gonna stream till okay. sunrise. It's no, I'm gonna stop streaming soon. Wait, what's my what's my Chromebook at? Four percent left. Wait, hold up. Hold up. I gotta charge it. The charger's right behind me. If I can just reach it with my hand. <laughs> I'm not usually this far back in my room. I'm usually like ooh, yeah, five feet away from the TV, but I'm like ten feet now. <sighs> now I gotta charge my Chromebook. You know, it's it's tough being a YouTuber with a Chromebook. Like you guys don't know the struggle. It takes five hours for me to export like a five-minute video. You know, it takes so long to edit with the free editing program that I use. It's so slow. It's you get, you don't know the struggle. Twenty-four hours stream. <laughs> Maybe one day for like a thousand subscribers. <laughs> 24 hour stream. Uh, this is my first long stream. It's, really, it's my second stream on the channel. I'm honestly amazed. Uh, I used to be a YouTuber with a Chromebook. Oh man, yeah. It's, I, I, it's a struggle trying to edit videos. Yeah, these tank battles are really not fun. I remember why this game was like so poorly received. But you know. Twin Rattler down. I remember thinking people were just overreacting now that I'm playing it again. Nope. It's a perfectly valid complaint. Armor holding. Oh, Mr. Freeze keeps dealing my kills, you simp. I'm trying to impress Norm. What? Okay, let's look at this chat. I used to be a YouTuber, the Chromebook only, so kind of am. So you're not the only one. Oh yes, thank you, Smile. That helps. F. Oh yeah, F with the Chromebook. Yep. When's the next stream? Whenever I feel like it. <laughs> uh, Batman says world from Corona. This isn't you. I won't let you destroy yourself anymore. Bro, she's straight up calling him a simp. She even says he's a simp. And let me live. Batman cures Corona. With all this money, he might find a cure. We won't have much time. Days. Time never has been on our side, Victor. Simp. <laughs> We're just not letting him up this street. We're just calling him a simp, beating him down. 
Bro, I've been streaming for over three hours now. What on earth is wrong with you people? <laughs> How on earth are you entertained by me? Sir, the ship has set course to leave Gotham. Should I keep tracking them? Let them Just go. We tell me if you want me to stop streaming. I'll be glad. Status art from Siri. Yeah, Siri. But honest, I love the side mission. It's a beautiful ending to Mr. Freeze. What a beautiful ending. But he should have been a part of the main story. Arkham was robbed. Now let's get this cop car. Let's get this cop car. Yeah. 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 This is the strongest cop car I've ever seen. Oh, I can't shoot. Yeah, Mr. Freeze was kind of robbed. We should not have gotten the Arkham Knight as the main villain. Arkham City already set up so much stuff. We were going to get, you know, Poison Ivy, uh, Mr. Freeze, Two-Face, you know, paying all these all these villains were reduced to side missions in this game. It's honestly pathetic. I might make a video one day on how I would have done Arkham Knight, but no one cares about that. What do you guys want me to do now? I'm taking suggestions, Tommy. What do you guys want me to do? What do you guys want me to do? Ooh, ooh. Oh God, what's he doing? What's he doing? Challenge maps. Is this the longest stream? Yes, this is the long stream. On. Oh yeah, Arthur asked a question earlier. Um, the Last of Us 2. My opinion. If you guys want me to do a review on Twitter, you can just ask. Me. Uh, I'm not gonna do it on my channel just because I, I, I'm a Batman channel and not a lot of people would watch it. It's so relevant. But in my opinion, The Last of Us 2 had an amazing, amazing first half. And if you're already halfway through, then you already know uh, you're gonna. I don't want to spoil it, but there's the second half of the game after the aquarium. After the aquarium scene is when it gets down. When it, I, I just don't like it after the aquarium. This is the longest stream that I've done. Yes, Bobby. Rachel Ghoul. Okay. Uh, Rachel Ghoul, I think it's over here. I have not played this game. <laughs> I'm over here with my, like, you know, 4 240% profiles. But I'm over here, like, oh, I, I haven't played this game a lot, but. Compared to the other Arkham games, this is my least played game out of the entire series. So I kind of forget where Ishogu is. I think he's over here. Wait, no, maybe I'm not supposed to be here yet. Maybe I'm supposed to go to the assassins. The assassins that died first. I can't remember. Yeah, that's closed. Golf mission. What golf mission? No, no, I'm, I'm having a brain hiccup. Is there a golf mission in the game? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Bobby? So hang on, hang on. If Batman is Bruce Wayne, then who's been playing Bruce Wayne all this time? Yeah, they did. I, I was expecting that character to die, though, so that's not what I was upset about. I was upset the way the character died. But... Alright, now you got me confused, Bobby. I'll look up... I don't know if I should. The, the last was too golf engine. But it'll not be something dirty, bro. Golf meme. Golf club scene. Oh... Oh my god. No, Bobby. No. That's not okay. That is not okay. That fr no. Oh my god. <laughs> Origins under underrated. It is. It is. I mean, it's it's unfair to the developers that worked on that game. They had a a, a year and a half to work on the game. I, I'm not going to spoil The Last of Us 2, but I know it's the golf. Look up the golf mission. It's it's messed up. The only thing that could have made that scene worse is if you actually played as Abby during that scene. That would have sucked during that um that character death. 
with the golf club. <laughs> golf. Oh man. No, but I don't recommend. Obviously, if you haven't bought the Last of Us 2 yet, then you don't care too much about it. So I wouldn't recommend wasting your money on it. So don't buy it until it goes on sale. The story is is not as good as the first one, and it really, really goes downhill after the first half. I thought Bruce Wayne had nothing better to do than waste his parents' inheritance. That's really gone down in my estimation. All right, now I think it's over here. You know what? Abby is the worst character. I want to test something actually. Let's record some gameplay, and then I wonder if the gameplay uh, that I'm recording right now will record the chat. If not, and if it just records the gameplay, the dead. yeah, I was right. Few people can kill two league assassins. Don't you actually look at the map? Look at me. I'm so proud of myself. All right. No. But um, what was I saying? Yes, if injuries consistent with if the gameplay doesn't record the chat and it just blade. records the gameplay, like then I might do streams later the next time I'm trying to record uh, myself doing challenge maps. You know, for game for background gameplay in my future videos. I dropped sword. Would you guys like that? Match the body I Would scanned. you guys obviously you and you and draw my you're my number one fans. I, I get some viewers, I'm sure. Would you guys like if Same I did like an hour stream as before. just playing Different some challenge uniform. maps, like chill streams like this? Fighting each other. Do you That's want more chill streams like this? Or no? Two bodies. Someone got away. Whoever got away was injured badly. I should search the other rooftops, try and pick up her trail. Yeah, let me know if I should do more chill streams like this with uh, recording gameplay. Let's check right now. Did that gameplay record? Hold on. I'm about to stay still for a few seconds because the gameplay is about to. Where's the gameplay? Hold up. All right. Hold on. I'll be right back. I am gonna look at the gameplay right now. Uh, storage. Let's see what it recorded. Yes, it did record. Okay, notifications. Okay. All right, we're good, bro. We're good. We're good. So I can definitely. Xbox gamer, Xbox gamer, you don't play about Last of Us 2, good for you, man. Uh, I'd recommend if you ever get a PlayStation, pick up The Last of Us, but the sequel, man, that, that story is, it really does disrespect the fans, and I really, I loved it the first half, I was singing the, the game's praise, all that stuff, but like, after the first half, it really went downhill. Uh, you should do more chill streams, thank you. Uh, I might, well, I might, Xbox gamer, nice. You ever play uh, Red Dead Redemption 2? Yes, I did. I did not platinum the game, but I played, I almost hit all the side missions. There was a time where I wanted to platinum the game, because I am kind of a completionist, as you can see with my four 240% save files. But when I saw that I had to, like, skin 500 different types of animals or something, I was like, nah. So, I gave up there, so I didn't, I almost hit all the side missions. I didn't collect all the dinosaur bones or the, uh... There's some other, like cigarette cards and do all that, but I got pretty far with the game. But honestly, in my opinion, the game was a yeah, PlayStation gang, PC Master Race. <laughs> I want to play a PC, but I'm too broke. Same Brit, same. But honestly, I, now I'm kind of glad that I never invested in a PC because I have all these amazing console exclusives and exclusive DLCs to PlayStation. PlayStation has the best exclusives, I will say. But Xbox, hey, for all, no. To be fair, Xbox has better specs. What was I saying? But yes, Red Dead Redemption 2 is too polarizing. It was, am I, that's why I didn't win Game of the Year. It was too much of like a cowboy simulator and not, uh, not a loss where I was. I don't even need to look at the trail. I know, I know where the assassin is. Hold on. Around, that it's like over here. No? Is it not? Okay, well then I guess I'll have to go find the trail. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2, it wasn't fun. Like, the gameplay wasn't fun. It, it, the the only, like, you know, novelty with the game was just, it was a simulator. That's what it was. It was so realistic. But honestly, it got so boring. The fact that you can only collect one item at a time, and you had to pick up each can individually. You had to individually craft all your, um, your bullets. You had to... Found it. 
This should lead me to some answers. Oh, I had to oh, go activate that. Bro. I don't need the trail parts. Alfred, the assassins appear to be fighting one another. I'm following the survivor's here, trail. So, Civil war amongst the league? But how is that uh, possible? Rish al Ghul is not known for she his money and goes to punishing descent. His body went missing after Arkham City. My mom I wants the league had revived him. But My mom wants not. Uh, Sir, me to get the wait what? Your mom wants you to get the last of us two? What? Dude, you're gonna have to go in more detail on that. Kyle, what? Your mom wants you to play? That's a pretty violent game. You would expect moms to say the opposite. It, explain. Fergs, you're still in this stream. I'm about to get Death Stranding. That's good. Tell me if it's good. Uh, again, Death Stranding I didn't get because I heard it was like Red Dead Redemption 2, except way more boring. So I didn't get it. I thought I heard it was Rock and Simulator. But, uh, wait, Furries, have you been watching this entire time, man? I've been watching this entire time. Seriously, dude? Or have you just been, like, tuning in and out? Have you been, like, popping in and out? Death Stranding is awful. Uh, yeah. I guess I don't, I don't think I'll get Death Stranding, but it's a PlayStation, it's a PlayStation game. So, more likely than not, it will be free on play for PlayStation Plus members in, like, the next year or two, so I'll just be for that. Okay, tuning in and out. Uh, Mom is in the gamer. She saw the trailer and she said it was like. Oh, you, you sound like. Oh, okay. She's just. Oh, that's nice. She knows your hobbies. That's nice. I mean, The Last of Us 2, I definitely would recommend waiting for it. To pass. That's common sense. And basic courtesy. Can I wake up anytime soon? I love that fuck guy. Alright, let's see. I know there's like a mechanic. Almost 400 mess. Oh my god, dude. You guys are amazing. Let's, I know there's like a mechanic in this game where like you can throw your gadgets while gliding. But I never heard this dialogue before. Oh, I thought it was a compass. Let's see if I can do it, because I'm, I'm always bad at it. Let's see if I can throw some gadgets while gliding this time. Because typically I can never pull it off. There you go. Oh, what? Bro, we... <laughs> I, I thought I looked at the chat. Okay, you want GTA 6? Nice. We all do, man. I've never played Grand Theft Auto. I played Red Dead, never played Grand Theft Auto. I don't have the time on my hands, which, by the way, I'm sorry, I'm spamming the aerial attack, I just realized. Um, which, by the way, um, I was about to say, I don't think I'll be up, able to upload nearly as much in August when school starts, because I'll, I'm taking like four college classes, and there's no way, like, I'll, there's no way I'm gonna have enough time. So I'll be able to upload like once a week, so just expect the video content to um the the content's gonna stay the same the quality but I'm gonna upload a lot less starting uh starting in uh August. I mean where the hell does he get this stuff? Don't look like no damn car I ever seen. Oh wait, do I even have to follow the trail? Wait, can I just go to the hospital? Wait, I wonder I wonder if I can just... I know it's somewhere around the hospital. Again, I'm pressing L1 for Sec Division. Like the Arkham City new by am. Here it is. The trail leads through the duct oh, into Elliot I didn't, Memorial. Next time I'm just gonna go straight to the hospital. I didn't know that. Thought I had to like, go through the down that generator to gain access. Any, uh, any questions? Q&A? Any thoughts? You are in the Batman! Protect the team of 
How is that not a blade dot check that way? Hold on. When I take upgrades. I don't have all my upgrades, okay. Glide kick. There's that I could get. I'm waiting for watch dogs to get nice. Gadget, what should my next upgrade be? Um, I can't say, I'm gonna have to get closer to the TV. Sorry if I'm like, uh, I'll turn off my mic so you don't hear the fan as much. Yep, I know, my fan sucks, whatever. I don't even know what to get. Oh. Oh, multiple counters, okay. No, you won't, bro. I mean, it's nice that you're optimistic, bro. Yeah, I can. Okay, that's cool. Come on, bro. Come on. Get up. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hey, thanks, man. I like, uh, I love the fact that you love my videos. Let's try to get to 400 messages. Alright, I, uh, does anyone object to the fact that I'm gonna end the stream after this mission? Does anyone want me to stream longer, or am I good to end it? I mean, I guess I don't really mind streaming longer. I just kind of feel like it's pathetic that I've streamed this long. The blood trail leads through here, but the automated door has no power. I need to find a way to open it. Yeah, man. We um we all want Daredevil back. I I have not actually watched Batman with a lightsaber. Well, then he couldn't do anything with the no kill rule. I mean, if Batfleck had a lightsaber, there you go. Alfred, I need to restore power to Elliot Memorial. Well, let's see. Ah, uh, there's a backup generator located on the exterior of the building, sir. Thanks, Alfred. I mean, I want, um, any good Daredevil comics you have, uh, recommended? It's over Damien. <laughs> Him cutting off the legs to his own son, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm looking at the chat. I'm you probably driving like a drunk driver. Control. I suck at this driver with that wheel anyways, so... You watch Batman Arkham videos. Have you ever seen him do this little mini game? He does it like absolutely perfectly. Like absolutely flawlessly the entire time, like a constant speed. I don't know how he revs up the engine like that. Other oh, like, yeah, he would. Batman would just bring out a kit. Like, imagine that'd be one of his gadgets. He would just like open doors with it and stuff. I can see him doing that. What was I doing? Oh yes, I need the uh, remote electric charge. Man, what was I gonna say? I don't know. No. Down. Right now, what?
guys want to talk about anything? What do you guys want for the next game? Hey, any video ideas you guys want me to do? No, I don't watch. I I used to watch The Flash, but that was it. I haven't watched anything about season three. I don't watch. I don't watch any of the shows on the CW. Demon's head must never rise again. Any video ideas? Gotham the TV show. Um, no, I watched the first like six episodes of it and then I just got bored. Bro, what? How is this not working? Thank you. Do a video of your wish list for Gotham Knights. Uh, I will. I will do a bunch of videos. What about a guy? What? Uh huh, bro. What about things you guys want to see? You guys want to see anything in Gotham Knights? Yeah, that show ended. Gotham ended a while ago. How to fix the Arkham games? What do you mean? I think they're pretty good. I mean, I will make a video about that actually. I'll make a video about the flaws with the Arkham games. Oh, wait, Arthur, wait, no, actually, you just predicted one of my next videos, I already recorded it, I did a collab with Ferds, who is another YouTuber, he's not an Arkham YouTuber, he's a gameplay YouTuber who has like 200 subscribers as well, for again, but anyways, me and Ferds, he wanted, he kept um, asking me in my comment section to do a collab, so we did, and that's actually what we talked about, five things we want to fix with the Arkham games, so Arthur, you just predicted one of my next videos, so that should be up by next week at the latest. If uh, I already edited it and exported it, so I have the video. I'm just waiting to upload it. But right, I, I can't upload it tomorrow. Like right now, I am working on. Um, after the stream ends, I'm gonna record my video for tomorrow. Do I watch horror movies? Only around like October. Uh, the Shining is my favorite. Absolutely love The Shining. I don't like like jump scared. Ooh, scary horror movies. I like it's like oh my god. What? Start I'm not starting an internet war with podcasts now, no. I'm actually- What? Are you kidding me? Wait, well, hold up. Yeah, that's the thing though, I can crash into the wall. This- I'm a- I'm an Arkham City remote control battering veteran. I should not be having this problem. You know, in Arkham City, when you crashed once, you died. But in this game, you can crash multiple times, so I don't know how I'm failing. Oh my- Is this a- Yo, are you guys seeing this? Am I even hitting? I must be. I must be. What? How, bro? How am I dying over and over again? I did. I have already made a podcast now exposed vid, but I'm not going to upload it. I talked about that on my Twitter. I, it's just, it's too toxic. And honestly, I don't want to start YouTube drama. Finally, I might make one in the future if he if he keeps stealing my videos and keeps stealing my where's the fuse box? I don't even know. If he keeps stealing my content. But as of right now, oh my god, are you kidding me? The trail heads over the damaged floor into the Where's the I need to find a way in. Wait, don't tell me. Chat. You have failed. Oh my god, chat. You have actually failed me. Is the few box is the few box in that room? Oh my god, it is. I did all that trouble dying over and over again to get back out there just to find out it was in that room. Bro, kill me, please. Kill me, bro. Yeah, LMAO, that's funny for you. You're not the one playing. <laughs> you were joking. Smile, what'd you say? Sorry, no more podcast now. No, I'm not. I know you're joking, man. I know you. I know you were joking. I was joking too. No, I'm not. I'm not starting an internet more podcast now. I just. Maybe one day, but 400 messages. The 400th message, LMAO. I'm glad you enjoy my suffering. Freaking Brit. <laughs> They should bring out Rachel, uh, Talia. I'll go. They should. If it's a reboot, I hope they do. If it's a reboot, which I'm sure it is, they're gonna have the Gotham She's Knights. Dead. They're gonna have the Not League of Assassins, Assassins. Court of like Owls, Saint Dumas. They're gonna have all these different orders, <laughs> secret order societies. So, I Booby bet they will. Trapped. 
F3. Must be more complex than a single button. I should reconstruct her last moments. Yes, and they will do that. The Bat Family will be playable in Open World. With the next game, most likely. I don't know how they're not in this game, honestly. Wait, no. Oh, I can't. I have to... I thought I could just hit him. I already know the combination, bro. I don't have to do this. He hit the switch here. She pressed the switch here. She attempted to press this switch before succumbing to her injuries. Looks you like, like Talia, bro. Lower switch here. What's wrong with Talia? She must have hit them in a specific order. Dang. Yes, that's that's one of the things I mentioned in my video with Ferg. Stay tuned with that. I'm not going to touch on that too much now because that's I already made a video about that. But yeah, I'm going to upload that sometime next week. Wrong again. What? I need to work How? Out the that was the last. The switches in. Oh, did I not? I thought I already hit that switch. I guess I didn't. Uh, I don't know how would the Batwing even work. That's going to be kind of a weird vehicle to take control of moving across. I can't really see that. That'd be kind of, I don't know. I just honestly can't even see it. Oh, you guys want to know a cool little Easter egg, by the way? It's the lady from the beginning of the game. Oh, no, 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 my, my, uh, yeah, no, 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 your spelling always, yeah, everyone gets, uh, pretty stupid when they're tired. I mean, I'm flattered you want to stay up and watch me, but, yeah, I'm probably going to end this, is anyone objecting, like, tell me right now if you don't want me to end the stream, but I'm probably going to end the stream after I uh, beat Grace Ghoul or whatever. Does it say that on my stream, or is that just for you? But, yes, for me, it's 1, uh, 1.23 a.m., Ah, smile. I'm sorry. Does anyone else object? Like, can I just end the stream after this? I mean, I guess I'll keep going, but it kind of feels... I don't know. The traitors will die. He will rise oh, I skipped again. the cutscene. Didn't mean to. It was just subconscious. Oh, you know what? I'll let you guys choose, since you guys are amazing. Uh, first of all, do... Uh, I think I'll end this stream. I'm 90% sure I'll end it. You need to sleep. It's 1:24. No, don't tell me what to do. Um, no, my sleep schedule is so messed up. Um, what I do is I don't wake up until like 6 p.m. and then I'll go to bed like 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. That's that's how it is now. That's how it is now. Um, every week or so I fix it and I'll stay up all night into the next morning. Yeah, East Coast. That's where I am. Uh, United States East Coast. And then I'll. Um, and then I'll fix my sleep schedule, but I have to keep doing that every week because I keep staying up too late. Yeah, same there. They should let Superman or someone else in uh, just to so make a cameo in the next Batman game. Yes, they should. I wanted DC Games Universe. What was I doing? Yes, Line Roger. No, no, no freaking hold him, Alfred. Besides, he'll to live any, any sentence. sentence. I see. I see what are you, what are you going to do? Find anyone here from Georgia? That's cool. Anyone? Is anyone here from Georgia? Uh, Lazarus pit. Stop it falling into the wrong hands. Anyone else? Is it just me and Smile in the East? Oh, whoa! What? We actually have another, what a coincidence, bro. Out of all the countries and all the states, we got two people from Georgia. Mm. I I live on the East Coast. I don't want to give away my exact state because I like having a little bit of privacy. My private life, you know. Florida, bro, what is up? East Coast, nice. You'd think it'd be the West Coast because of how late it is, but nah, everyone's here is from the East. Wait, no. Wait, I thought I could go out through the front door. Can I not? Oh, I can. Uh, 
Alfred, calibrate the Batmobile sensors to search for trace Lazarus particles in the city water supply. Bro, I don't need that. Should lead me to the source. Absolutely, sir. Sending you the real-time visual data now. So we got we got all the East Coast people, man. That's nice, bro. Any ideas for future subscriber specials? Obviously, for my um, I don't know, city or bro. That's uh, same here, Kyle. But obviously, my 300 subscriber special. I'm gonna do the Mr. Freeze simp thing since so many people asked. Um, <laughs> but any, any other like, what do you, what should I do when I get to 400 subscribers? What should I do? 500, 600, a thousand. Q and A streams, Arkham tier ranking. Wait, what? That's weird. My controller like went haywire for a second. There's some loading issues in this game. I don't remember it being like that. Maybe my PlayStation's like all wonky. Four hundred subscribers. I should do a Q and A. I don't know. Maybe, maybe at one point. I want to save that stuff for later. Like for the first few hundred, I just kind of want to be, you know, kind of goofy me. But when I get, I'll say that for like a future subscriber special when people actually really care about me. Like right now, a lot of people don't care about me. Oh wait. Trying to go. I don't live in Tennessee. Bro, I want East Coast party. Let's let's go to the Killer Croc there. This is Killer Croc Slayer, I think. Right, right? Yeah, this is uh, Killer Croc's home. Bro, ever think about how messed up that is that he eats people? I'm not going to do a face reveal at 1,000, most likely. Maybe 10,000. Okay, I already promised dead memes. He wants me to make a blowing minion video, too. I don't... Maybe I... I don't think... No, no, no. I checked. I don't think that I have my face revealed... In any of my old first videos, maybe I do. I doubt it though. And um, if I, since I, if I do a blowing minions too, then it's probably gonna be me, and I'm probably going to. Uh, I'm obviously gonna have to do a face reveal for that unless I wear a mask or something. So yeah, I'll do a face reveal eventually. Bro. Bro, Batman Arkham Knight predicting the future. Wait, what? Hold up. Let me... I thought for a second you could... Okay, it's just a reflection. I thought you could see inside the apartments. For a second, that would've been cool. <laughs> Free pirate empty. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take the copyright strikes. I'll take one for the team. I'll make I'll make an only I'll make an OnlyFans account for my uh, my 300 subscriber special. <laughs> my three will be an OnlyFans account. <laughs> Your phone's on 15 percent. Oh, sucks to suck, man. You gotta charge it for Arthur. We can't lose you, Arthur. You've been on the stream for like an hour now. You can't. We can't lose you, Arthur. Leads beneath the dockyard. I'll need to continue on foot. It does, though, seriously. This game has better graphics, Bobby, than like over half the PlayStation games out there. It, like, not as good as The Last of Us 2 or Ghost of Tsushima, or maybe Resident Evil 3, but this game is, like, better than a good amount of PlayStation 4 games still, and play Xbox, like, just games out here. And I'm amazed at what Rock City can do, and this is on Unreal Engine 3, not even Unreal Engine 4, which is, came out this generation, and not even Unreal Engine 5, which is next generation. Can you imagine what Rock City could do with Unreal Engine 5? Oh my god. But I think Suicide Squad's on Unreal Engine 4 right now, so. 
seriously with I love the way like the eye the face and the eyes are beautiful in this game I gotta be honest this must be the Lazarus pit man this is like this is so disappointing Rachel Ghul should not have been a side mission I might make a video about this later one day but he should have been the main story Clayface should have been the main story but, uh, by the way, I guess Batman killed Clayface, broke his no-killing rule for him, because he doesn't come back in this game. You're telling me that him knocking him in the Lazarus pit killed him? It's a comic book game. It should have given him, like, some new cool power. He would have been cool if he came back in this game with Scarecrow, Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn, and they should have all been main villains. But no, a lot of them were reduced to side missions, and if they were in the main story, they were very brief. It was all focused on Arkham Knight. Regard this site in the name of our no one cares about the Arkham Knight. We don't care about his identity. Attack. Oh. I like, if you can tell, I like this combo a lot, but okay. Oh, what? We Clayface 2.0. You know what? Well, like, legit. Like, they could have actually done something interesting with that. Yeah, everyone already knew it. This is, I want Kite Man in. Okay. This is an actual question. What? Uh, Rocksteady made Calendar Man one of the lamest Batman villains. An amazing villain. Like, an actual creepy villain. I legit. I want to make a video. Like, top five villains that uh, podcast now. I swear to God, if you steal this podcast now, I, I doubt he's watching, but if you are, don't steal this. Top five villains that Rock said he could, like, rework or something. And, like, one of them should be Catman. I legitimately think Catman could be an actual compelling character. Obviously, don't call him Catman. That's a little ridiculous. Obviously, no. Maybe that, maybe have that be a fun Easter egg nickname. Yeah, I, Ratcatcher would be Ratcatcher, rat Humpty Dumpty, Killer Moth. Killer Moth is the most goofy villain. Like, legit, think of, like, Lego Batman, Goofy, Killer Moth. Legit, that could be actually one of Batman's most terrifying villains. Imagine if Killer Moth, they made him, like, an actual mutant, like, Man Bat. Like, this, like, mutant, disgusting, man-eating moth that, like, you fight in the sewers or something. I actually thought about this before. Like, what if, like, it's a boss battle? Like, Batman turns into a horror game for a few minutes, you know? And, like, you have to attract him, like, um... Like maybe the, these lanterns or something you have to destroy to attract him. So then when you can lure him over to you and then you can sneak up behind him or something, you know. That would be cool. I want Kai, man. I want like a flying mission in uh, Batman. Like Firefly, like how Firefly was in this game, except with gliding. I want Kai, man, to have like a cinematic mission where like, you know, it's a bunch of QTEs or something where you're chasing him through the air. And you grapple onto him like a firefly in Arkham Origins. Turn around slowly and hand me the detonator. Just armor, bro. Nissa. Thank you. Do you Nis. guys even know who Nissa is? Nis. I've never heard of her besides this game. Fights for the rebels. The rebels fight for me. And that zombie no longer knows his own name, or the day of the week, or that his other daughter died. I'm sorry about Talia. She was a loyal fool. I am neither. You understand. So long as my father's corpse sits strapped to those tubes, there will be war in Gotham. Dude, a rat catcher? Where you, that would legit be terrifying. That Imagine a rat catcher and, and like killer moth boss fight in the dude, sewers. Oh my god, my dude. Father. Finally die. Oh, dude, Sam, I died. played that game when I was nine, and I legit, I legit, like, turned on Detective Vision for the entire mission, because he actually scared me, and I had to see his skeleton, because otherwise, 
Like, detective vision is the only way I could handle that mission without pissing my pants. Because honestly, just seeing hit this giant crocodile jumping out of the water scared the crap out of me, dude, when I was nine. Oh my god. Took me forever for my mom to get me those games. Had to convince her. Oh, that's, that mission still scares me. I mean, I'll play normal vision now because I think it looks cool, but still. Like, imagine the Killer Croc mission, but with Killer Moth, and it being really dark and creepy, and maybe, like, your detective vision is disabled, or maybe it doesn't show up on detective vision. Yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, my God. From this army, and I killed the bat in two seconds. when you're eight. Nice. Bro, we're about to get to 500 freaking chat. Oh my god. I've been almost streaming for four hours. It's way too long. I'm stopping after this. Bro, I'm surprised I got like almost consistent 10 people at least this entire stream. I was like 15 for a while when I was talking about podcasts now. People really liked that, but uh... I can't believe we got this far. I would have played the Batgirl DLC if I knew I'd be playing this much longer. Yeah, I wish I'd played the Batgirl mission instead of this, uh, these side missions, but you know. I'll play it next time, maybe. Sir, I don't know. Nissa was always the most reasonable member of the family, but do you trust her? I do. And are you prepared to end a life for her, sir? Look, do you guys, like, actually know Nessa? I've never heard of her outside of this game. Like, never read a comic with her in it or anything. Like, not sir, once. If you'd... Is... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot. Alright, you guys decide. Kill Ray Shaw Ghoul or no? What should I do? This is about to give me the choice to kill him or not. Professor Pig, yeah, I wish that, like, they used, um, Zaz instead, because he was already a character, and then I wish they saved Professor Pig for, like, a, like, the Damian Wayne game. I wish that wasn't cancelled, because that was going to use a lot of CD and D list villains. How considerate of them, sir. Alfred Sass, bro. Alright, kill? Ooh, you guys want me to kill? Okay, let's have a vote right now. Don't kill. I have two no's and two yeses, bro. Bobby, Dakota, Brit. Oh, oh, no. The don't kill is by the same guy. Oh, no. Now I have another don't kill. Okay, so it's equal. Is anyone not voted yet? Smile. Have you voted yet? I'm going to check. No, you have not. Okay. So, I am not. I'm going to spare his life. Alright, it looks like no one else is objecting. I will spare his life. Oh, I know the stream's lagging, so it'll take like an extra 20 seconds or whatever for it to catch up. But that should be enough time for you guys to object. Oh, an instant death, bro. I forgot how to do that. It's disappointing. Uh, there's no boss. Oh my god. Brain, yes. But the true league cannot be defeated. What? For all you know, I could have been coming to give him back to Lazarus. Well, why are you taunting my death, bro? Yeah, one of the biggest disappointments in this game is the death stroke battle. Oh my god. Arkham Origins had the best battle, boss battle. Arkham Origins did a lot right. And legit, every single one of the flaws in that game, every single minor gripe, all the way down to the major ones, could just be summed up with the excuse that they just legitimately did not have enough time. They had a year and a half to make the game. Like, they didn't have enough time. Like, besides those major flaws, it was an amazing game. And all those major flaws, they have a good excuse for it. So, since they have nothing attacks. holding them back in this game, it's going to be amazing.
I really do think Gotham Knights is going to be amazing. It has the potential to be the best Batman game. I wish that they had more time. They've only had four years to make it. I wish that they had like five or something. But, you know. I, I'm going to spare his life. Rachel Ghoul will not die today. Oh, no, no, no. Oh my god, how did I not die? I'm gonna make sure there is most annoying character. Yes, he is. I'm pretty sure, uh, most favorite. Yes, Deathstroke was amazing. Uh, I liked Firefly, honestly. I thought it was also Bane's. Was, I have no idea how I did not die there. Like, honest to god. I must. I think when you're doing the roll animation, you're actually invincible for a couple seconds. Maybe that's how. Oh no, I have to, I have to go over here to turn it. Okay. Alright, I'm about to save his life and end the stream. Any objections? No? Okay. Alright. It is amazing that you guys, um... You know, since you guys are here, you're like my... Uh, people? Seven people watching. You guys obviously enjoy my content, so I will reward you for tomorrow's video topic. What is it? Oh yes, there was, I think, this... I don't know, I might change it in the next few minutes. But, I think tomorrow's video topic will be the leak. And that happened yesterday, there was a leak on the Batman Arkham subreddit. Uh, someone came... To, uh, yeah, see, uh, most people, um, I was about to say, yes, most, Deathstroke was an amazing boss battle, and Riddler is an annoying character, and the Arkham games. Do any of IRL friends watch you? Um, I have a couple of friends on my PlayStation friends list that, like, have watched a couple of my old videos when I first did YouTube, of, like, me and my friends just hanging out, but, um, I, I, one of my PlayStation friends actually messaged me, and he apparently saw my latest videos, so that was cool, but literally no, none of my IR, IRL friends watch me. No one I know watches me, except I, I have a sneaking suspicion that my parents, um, I know they know about my YouTube channel, I don't think they know how big it is, but I have a sneaking suspicion that they, um, actually, you know, they might, uh, they might be watching the stream actually. I hope they're not. No Alright, destroy Lazarus machine. Now. Wait, no. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. I was not thinking at all. It's spare his life. Oh, that's right. I remember. I completely forgot. I thought that I... I usually... What I do is I destroy the Lazarus machine. The first time I played this game... Four hour mark, boys. <laughs> yes, we did. No, the um, the first time I played this game... I actually... Uh, I actually administered the cure, and I immediately regretted it. Because he killed, you know... I'm not going to spoil it, but something's about to happen that I don't like. Don't worry, I'm not going to end the stream immediately after this. I'll talk for a couple more minutes, and then I'm ending it. Why are you saying, bro, lol, lol, oh, you get to the part where I had to restart? Is the lag on the stream that bad? You just now got it to the part where I, where I made the wrong choice. Yeah, sorry about that, bro. That's weird. You're just now getting into that part. I'm like three minutes ahead of you guys. It must be because, you know, you're in the EU. Surprised how many people like I have a lot of people from Europe that watch my videos and uh, a lot of people that, from my East Coast that watch the videos. So that's weird. I can never do the sword counter. See, I'm um, so this is why I'm, one of my gripes with Arkham games. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty right now, and it's way too easy. Like I'm sucking with the gameplay right now, and I still have has even touched my health bar. I still have my armor. I want the next game down multiple difficulties, and I want it to be harder. Why? I told you. 
I'm no killer. And you think that means there's no blood on your hands? This, uh... this is why I never choose this ending. Daughter. Traitor. Batman, you just sat there for like five seconds watching that go down. And now you're just sitting there again, bro? <laughs> he just disappeared. That wasn't even a smoke bomb. He just straight up vanished in mid-air, bro. What? There might be Lazarus chemicals remaining. No. Not like him. You should have let him die. Rich yeah. kills for his cause. I never will. Stubborn. Stupid fool. That's why she loved you. That's why I never choose this ending. And the first time I, I it was the first time I chose this, I immediately restarted and I've never chose it since. You guys made this happen. Yeah, seriously. I'll take care of the necessary arrangements, sir. Thank you. Sir, if I may, police reports suggest that the rebel faction is abandoning Gotham in droves. Raish, meanwhile, will be recuperating for some time. You averted war. What was I going to talk about? Anyways, yeah, it's amazing. Can we get to... Let's get to... Can we get to 500 messages? Everyone spam the chat. <laughs> Everyone spam that chat. We're going to get to 500 tonight, boys. I don't understand how I can't go down all the way to the garage with that Batmobile. I get down to like the last door and the last door won't open, which really annoys me. I am the Zenit. <laughs> Thanks, Hatchery. Hatchery's my number one fan, bro. bro. You guys are actually streaming the chat. Man, that was like a half joke, but we're actually gonna get to 500 tonight. Let's go, boys. I agree. I agree, Cody. A very profound statement. Guy Hub. What's the point of this? This is this point in this area. It's treason, man. Gah! Screen. Can I? Oh, the game just like dis. It's literally not letting me up there now. I guess I can only go up there during the mission. Let's try, let's try to talk. Oh my god, we're actually going to get to 500. <laughs> we're actually going to 500. Alright, you guys made it. We're going to get just a few more chats away. So let's let's do a slight Q&A. You guys always ask me questions, but I think it's very kind of you. So now I want to ask you some stuff. <laughs> you guys all tried to be the 500 chat at the same time. So we just got an influx of the chat. Batman. Yeah, Batman. Uh, l let me ask you guys a question. 500, oh my god, bro. Okay. Re, I agree. Do you guys like the gadget wheel? Because personally, I like it in Arkham Asylum City and Origins better, where you could instantly click the D-pad and go somewhere. I don't like this, where you have to, where you have to pause the game to select the gadget. But what about, do you guys like it? I mean, I kind of hate the gadget wheel, to be honest. I, I would, but I understand that it's convenient to have an add to one button. But I really did for Arkham, uh, Arkham cities. Because uh, why not? Uh, well, I just personally, I really do. Yeah, see, I'm I'm the odd one out. I'm the only one that didn't like it. I, same thing with Spider-Man. Like I I miss like just having the very quick snappy tap the D-pad. So I'm I'm weird like that. 
Look at that battering. PlayStation 4 graphics, next gen battering. Amazing. I didn't like it. Yeah, see, okay, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one that didn't like it. I, I would have preferred it if, like, the Batmobile was, uh, at, you know, if, if the gadget wheel was gone and we had the old gadgets and we had Detective Mode tied to L1, because it's always, <laughs> yes, dude, there's no way we're going to get to five. Uh, I don't want to say no way because you guys are about to spam the chat again, but we're going to get to 600, boys. Uh, I was about to say, yes, I would have preferred it if the Batmobile was, like, its own gadget, like, you had to call the Batmobile with a gadget just to bring back the classic gadget the gadget uh, gadget, uh, gadget mapping I can't talk I don't even know what I'm doing here at this point I mean any other villain do you think that Rock City could rework I don't think Condiment King could um Gotham Knights exactly bro that's the type of spam we need I don't think that uh, Condiment King could work. There's no way you can make that villain work at all. No way. Uh, what's another lame villain? I'm trying to think right now. What's a lame villain? What's like a lame... T I'm gonna look that up right now. I'm gonna look up lame Batman villains. Lame Batman villains. Crazy Quilt? A Firefly Penguin. How is Penguin lame, bro? Ten Flash villains that are much more dangerous than they sound. Alright, now I'm caught up in the clickbait articles. Turtle. <laughs> Wait, there's a Flash villain called Turtle. Yo, what? There's an actual Flash villain called Turtle. That's, uh, let's see, let's see now. The Turtle's a classic foe, the fastest man alive, as he possesses the exact opposite power set. <laughs> what? The Scarlet Hero debuted in All Flash issue 21. Turtle consistently appeared to thwart the hero Flash and his allies. The name Turtle doesn't exactly spark fear to anyone's heart. The Turtle is pretty harmless. However, over the years, he's caused enough destruction to showcase that he's a force to be reckoned. Dude, the Turtle's superpower is literally going slow. What? The Turtle's superpower is literally going slow. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, oh, he can slow people down around him and stop bullets. That's just super speed. That's literally super speed. Can we have a different Flash villain that is speedsters? I feel like that's all we have. Yeah, Connor McKean's the lamest villain. Uh, can you guys think of any other Batman villain? The Fiddler. Remember some kind of music group rather than front of it. The Fiddler, uh, he uses his violins and fiddles to weaponize. He can do anything. <laughs> okay, okay. We got, we got Weather Wizard. I don't know about him. Thinker. Oh, I don't know that gun. The Thinker, uh, particularly dangerous flash villain. Oh no! I should have said that. Uh, I don't. I don't accept. I don't accept a uh, friend request. I just don't do it. I have twenty. It's not not anything personal, Kyle. Like you're my you are my friend, on um, in, in PlayStation uh chat on live streams. You're my friend. But like, uh, what am I trying to say? I have twenty PlayStation friends. I think around, and I haven't talked to anyone online in like eight months and before that it'd be like a year I don't play online games the last online game I played was Batman Arkham Origins multiplayer I played that one occasionally but we're actually gonna get to 600 how do I have more viewers now I'm doing nothing but talking about turtle the most dangerous flash villain <laughs> killer crow killer crow is that a villain I don't know killer crow what I actually don't know that villain is that a Batman villain I've never heard of him or you just make that up.
You mean Killer Croc? Is that like a typo? Yeah, it's a typo. Uh, Batman should be. They will most definitely be on next gen, yes. However, if they're next gen exclusive, that's up in the air. If one's going to be next gen exclusive, I would bet Suicide Squad. I doubt Suicide Squad's made for this gen. It could be. But I think the Batman Gotham Knights uh, game really has a chance of being this gen and next gen at the same time, you know. Catman. Catman, really? Eh. I mean, Xbox, yeah, sure, in terms of specs, but PlayStation has better exclusives, in my opinion. Like, God of War is my favorite uh, game of all... Th not my favorite... Batman Arkham City is my favorite game of all time, but God of War is my favorite game on this generation. Yes, including Batman Arkham Knight. Uh, Batman Arkham Knight does not touch God of War, in my opinion. We are at 600, bro. Uh, what else should I talk about? Uh, I guess... I don't know how to end a stream, but I've never really done it before. Ed, ask me questions. Ask me questions. Um, Harry Potter and Suicide Squad will be next gen, while Batman will be cross gen. Hold on, I got a message from someone. Uh, Mr. Simp. The Batman game might be cross gen because run or even the game early 2020. Yeah. That's a good message. I don't I don't accept friend requests though. Because honest God, I would honestly not mind being your friend on PlayStation. I probably would play some online games to you. Nothing personal, but like I really truly do mean that. I wouldn't mind playing games with you. You're a funny guy, but um, if I accept one friend request, I'm gonna get five other more million, so I can't. I can't do that. Mr. Freeze, be simple. Yeah, that's going to be my 300 subscriber special. Uh, what, what do I want to talk about? Yeah, the Harry Potter. Harry Potter game is going to be next gen. I doubt. If it comes out next year, I doubt it'll be made for that. I don't know, it might, but. I want a simp man game. A simp man. Yeah, that'd be. Wouldn't that be a Telltale game where you just try to please woman, but you fail? The Telltale game ends the same way every time. You always get rejected. <laughs> Why do batterings fly glow? Why do they glow blue? I've always wondered that. And why can you only throw three, but and then he stops? You know what? For the long, it's gonna be. Uh, no, 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 I think Harry Potter's gonna be good. It has a lot of potential, unless it has a lot of microtransactions. Batman has to be cross gen no matter they better be. WB Games Montreal cannot skip an entire console generation without making a game. Like actually. Jesus, that's terrible. It will be uh Clark's have been for Lois, just Clark's have been for Lois the entire time. Dude, I've been lied to. For years, for years, I thought I had to double tap L2 to throw a battering. But like, just the past couple of years, I found out all you have to do is quickly tap L1, not a double tap. I always said I was a double tap. Cyberpunk looks good, not gonna play it, I'm too broke to buy it at launch. <laughs> that, that's it. I'm not gonna buy, the only other game, oh yeah, someone asked me earlier, I'm sorry. I hope, I hope they're still on the stream, but someone asked me if I, had, if I had enough money for Ghost of Tsushima. I do. Or my mom. My mom actually calls it Ghost of Hiroshima. <laughs> <laughs> my mom, <laughs> my mom's um, little racist. No, she she actually thinks it's called Ghost to Hiroshima. So, anyways, uh, that's I'm gonna buy Ghost of Tsushima, and then I am that's it. I have to save up all my money for PlayStation Five and Miles Morales. What do I think about the new Star Wars game? Good question, Hushri. Um, I don't like EA. I'm not going to buy it at launch, as I said. I, I don't think I'll be able to buy any game. I won't be able to buy Avengers 2. I'm not going to buy Avengers at launch. Um, I, it looks good, and I honestly, if EA says it's going to be $40, that makes me worried, because Battlefront 1 when it launched had no content. 
and that game was priced at sixty dollars, and that game had like five maps, no campaign, no single player stuff. It, it was stupid. So if it, if that game's priced at forty dollars, that game's probably not going to be good. If EA doesn't even have faith in it, I think it has potential. I'm excited for it, but I'm not going to pick it up until it goes on sale. And they said no microtransactions, so that's good. State Escape Four, yeah, hey, Escape Four. Never played a skate game. Uh, anyways, uh, any video ideas? Any news you guys want me to cover? I don't know. The I, my news video is gonna be tomorrow. It's got see, it won't let me leave this place without the Batmobile, which I think is stupid. Hey, uh, for real though, I have to thank you guys, like each and every one of you, like seriously. It, I can I can actually cannot believe you guys made it this far in the stream. You're the real MVPs. I guess I should end it soon, but I feel like I don't know. I don't want to end it because it, it it's really fun to stream. I really do not expect to stream for more than 30 minutes, but you guys actually made it really fun. Do it. Intro in your vids? Uh, nah. I already have an intro. I mean, like I don't want to do like a pre-recorded. Nah, I don't like that. Because my Chromebook doesn't have a lot of storage, and I'm, and also, it crashes a lot. I don't recommend getting a Chromebook if you want to be a YouTuber, because your files get like erased and the data gets corrupted a lot. So if I made like an intro, then there's no way I'll be able to put it in front of every vid, because more likely than not, the my save file will be corrupted, and I'll have to redo the intro. So if I make an intro, I'm not gonna be able to spend a lot of time on it, just because I know it'll be deleted and I'll have to remake it again multiple times. And when I don't, and obviously I want my intro to be the best quality, and I don't want to make an intro, be able to make one in five minutes. So I, I, I like my intro. I have an intro. It's not a pre-recorded video intro. It's just me going, "Hey, what is up, guys? So Quinn here. Hope you guys are having a good day. And as always, remember, high hopes, low expectations. Let's get down to business. That's basically it. Uh." What suits should be in Gotham Knights? Yes, I'm going to make that video. Trust me, when Gotham Knights is announced, I'm going to cover that game to death. Uh, should I buy Arkham Knight or Return to Arkham? Do you not have either? Are you not a viewer in my channel? Or are you just popping in the stream to ask me this question? I can't pronounce that name. Do you not have either, bro? Gonna respond? I know the stream lags, so it's probably gonna take an extra 30 seconds. Um, if you don't have either and you've never played an Arkham game, oh, okay, you've played Arkham City. Um. You've never played Arkham Asylum, and you've never played Ark. Okay. I would say, well, both, obviously. It's my favorite game series. Arkham City is the best one in the entire series, in my opinion. So, Arkham Knight, the story's not as good, and uh, the Batmobile is overused. But there is, like, all this side. Like, the Arkham games have so much more content. And, um, yeah, so I, Arkham Knight, I mean, so I would say probably Arkham Knight, but then go back to Return to Arkham when you have the chance. Definitely, I mean, you know what, I don't know, if you want to, if you want to buy both eventually, then I would say start with Return to Arkham, buy that again, and replay Arkham City and play Arkham Asylum, because Arkham Asylum is such an amazing game, you should play it. But if you're only going to buy one, and you only have enough money to buy one, then I guess Arkham Knight, just so you can see how the series ends. But I'd recommend picking up Arkham Asylum and Return to Arkham. You know what? Actually, no. You have you have a PlayStation 4, I'm assuming. So hold on now. Let me check something real quick. A video about Belle Delphine's return? <laughs> I am not. I am not going to cover Belle Delphine, bro. No. No one would even be talking about her if she, um... Yeah, no, no one even, like... She would. No one would even know her name if people didn't talk about her and make fun of her. She doesn't. People need to stop giving her attention. And then, you know, the Arkham Collection. Okay. 
Hey. Hey, um, is that person still in the chat that hasn't played the um, Arkham games? Alright. The Arkham Collection exists, which is a combination of the Return to Arkham and uh, Batman Arkham Knight. So I would recommend what you do is that game, the Arkham Collection just went on sale for like $20 like a few weeks ago. And I, I bet you that that will go on sale again um, before PlayStation 5 comes out. So if you don't mind waiting a couple of months, I would say just spend like 20 something dollars on the entire Arkham Collection and then you get three games for like the price of one. I mean, if, you, if, if you're willing to spend $60 on it, then I would say buy the Arkham Collection now, because then you get all the main games of the series. But if not, then I'd say wait for sale. But definitely, I would say just wait for a sale, and my, if I were you, that's what I would do. Because that, that was, like, just on sale. Yeah, phone's on 5%. Alright, I'm going to have to end the stream soon just for Arthur, because I know Ar Ar Arthur, you know, wants to see it. But yeah, just I would say wait for sale on the Arkham Collection. But if you had to choose like right now, um, buy Arkham Knight, the season pass and everything. But really, like you should the first chance you get the, get the Return to Arkham because that those are two amazing games. Arkham City and Arkham Asylum. Yeah, can we get an F in the chat for Arthur? F in the chat, bro. Do you watch PewDiePie? No, I don't watch PewDiePie. I'll occasionally, like, occasionally I'll be recommended a YouTube video, like yesterday, it was actually, yesterday, coincidentally, I was recommended a video like PewDiePie's reaction to The Last of Us, and I watched that, but I don't typically watch a lot of PewDiePie videos. Look at that low detail bat, oh my god, disgraceful rock study, these pixels, oh. Anyways, um, I guess I have to end the stream soon. Do you guys have any final words? Uh, my video I'm about to be, I'm about to make a video right now. Obviously, I need to drink a glass of water. And, um, okay, F in the chat. I need to drink a glass of water and give my voice a break because, oh my god, my throat is tired. I hope I don't lose my voice. I've been talking for four hours straight. Ugh. But uh, I'm going to record a video, and I think you guys are to going to enjoy it. The plot for Batman Gotham Knights was leaked. To be honest, I really doubt the leak's legitimacy. No, I'm not on Twitch. This is my first ever game stream. Uh, I mean, are you a new viewer to my channel? Hey, um, I can't pronounce your name. I was going to call you the guy that wants to buy Arkham. So the guy that wants to buy Arkham. Um, I just started my channel a month ago, and I have almost 300 subscribers. Uh, I'm growing it. If you want, you can just subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do a lot of Arkham videos, so I think that's good. If you want to buy Arkham, then you're definitely going to want to play more Arkham. And my videos are mainly speculation on the next Arkham game or next Batman game, which um, is heavily leaked and rumored to come out. There's that, and Rocksteady Suicide Squad game. Rocksteady is the company that made this game, and they are rumored to be making a Suicide Squad game. And a new Batman game is being rumored to be made by W Games Montreal, which is a new game studio. So you can uh, you can check out my other videos if you want, if you're into that stuff, if you want to see the leaks and rumors on the next Batman game. I highly, highly um, expect it to be announced by August 22nd at the latest, because on August 22nd DC is doing a event specifically like you know for new DC announcements and it is already it was leaked the uh, the entire event was leaked before the event was announced GWW uh, had a scoop and they leaked what time the event would be taking place they leaked the title of the event on August 22nd they got everything right and part of the leak said that a new Batman game would be a new announcement you can go watch the video I covered it and DC announced the event after the leak which confirms the leak and since the leak said a new Batman game would be there the latest if not revealed before then um, then yeah but basically, if you want, then yeah, subscribe to my channel, or if you don't want to watch videos now, then just subscribe and wait, and then come back once you've played the Arkham games, and you want to play the next one. The new title for the Ar for the next game will probably, oh no, Arthur, I'm going to end it soon, don't worry, Arthur, I'm just going to talk to this guy. If you want to subscribe, then uh, be sure, if not, tell me now, any constructive criticism or anything. But yeah, there you go, guy who wants to buy the Arkham games. Please subscribe if you want to see updates on the next Batman game. 
whatever that may be, and Rock City Suicide Squad game. Countdown, LMAO. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, 300 people subscribed to my channel in the first month, so you know I'll make good content. You know I'll make good content, guy who wants to buy the Arkham games. But yeah, there you go. No, I'm not on Twitch. I just do YouTube, if you're even still in the chat. I'll check right now. 3%. Okay. Um, I guess I'll end the stream soon. Yeah, let's, let's have a silence. Let's have a 30 seconds moment of silence. Let's waste some more of his phone battery. Alright. Rest in peace, Arthur's phone. We will end the stream now. Uh, out of respect for Arthur, as his phone is about to die. <sighs> Alright. Thank you guys so much for coming out here. I appreciate it. Love you guys so much. We got almost 10 people watching, which is insane after 5 hours of streaming almost. I really did not expect to stream more than 30 minutes. And I did not expect this many people out here. And I'm sorry, Arthur. Uh, this used up the last life of your phone. Amen, man. Amen. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. I'm about to make a video right now on the new um, Got Batman Gotham Knight. Is it supposedly the title of the next game? Gotham Knights. And it's a Bat Family centric game. And the plot was essentially leaked on Reddit. I don't think the leak's real, but I will still cover it just because I want to deliver unbiased news. And I'll let you for decide for yourself if you guys think it's real. But I'm about to record that video and then it should be uploaded maybe sometime early tomorrow morning. I'll schedule an upload for like afternoon maybe. But yeah. That's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you uh, want to see daily updates. And uh, I don't know what else to say. Stay awesome y'all. And peace.